Hello, and welcome to High Rollers d and It's a D&D podcast live here on Twitch and on YouTube and as a podcast. I'm your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes, and thanks for joining us on this very special episode. We're excited to be back. I'm joined by these wonderful people. Let's have a look at them now. I'm going to go in a really weird order here because I've got, we've got Rhiannon, we've got Kim, we've got Trot, we've got Katie, and we've got this guy. Hey, Mummy Milky. It's Tom Hayes. Oh, no, you recorded it. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Hello oh, and it. welcome back to High Rollers. Uh, we're excited oh. to be here. Uh, we missed out last week, but we're back. We're back for some high level D and D action and fun. How is everyone? Good. I mean, hey, yeah, I mean my, magical. my privacy has been violated. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that was a private conversation between you and me, Mark. And you recorded it. Of course I did. Of course I did. Uh, <laughs> no one is safe. No one is safe ever from anything. Uh, couple of things before we get started with today's episode. The first of which is a big thank you to our sponsor, D&D Beyond. Uh, I haven't prepared, there's nothing funny. We don't have like a crazy funny thing for D&D Beyond today. Uh, instead, I've funny. written the most, uh, well, I've written an incredibly uh, generic podcast read for D&D Beyond that you might see, Ooh. you know, other people out there read. So uh, yeah, just D&D Beyond, thank you very much for sponsoring this episode. Uh, we love you. You've been a big, uh, big supporter. So yeah. D&D Beyond is the number one digital tool for playing Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition, and we've been using it for our entire Aroes campaign, and it's revolutionized the way that we play, with an extensive character builder that takes you through the process of making your characters with ease, whether it's your first or your 500th. Subscribe and get a bunch of additional benefits like infinite character slots, the combat tracker for Dungeon Masters, and more. Plus, the D&D Beyond mobile app has now been merged into one, allowing you to use it for your character sheets or looking up spells or rules on the fly. D&D Beyond is a great sponsor. We love using them. Use the link in chat or the video description to sign up, subscribe, or buy content books and let D&D Beyond know the High Rollers sent you. Thanks, D&D Beyond. You're the best. That's it. That's just, just like a little... <laughs> nice. That was just, nice. you know... Actually, nice. talking about the cool things about DD Beyond because uh, yeah, we do love them, thanks, they support yeah. the show. Uh, <laughs> yes, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, we, we use DD Beyond a lot. Uh, it's generally been a, an incredible change to the campaign and just made it so much easier to do custom stuff and have everybody with their character sheets. You know, I can share custom content in with them and stuff. It's, it's just been, it's, it's been, it's been great. It's been great. It's been great. It's been, it's been, great. Great. Um, it's been the best. It's been great. Uh, the next thing to talk about, I'm going to pass the baton down to Katie to talk about new merch because we couldn't talk about it last week. <laughs> Didn't know that was happening. Hi, we've got Didn't new know merch. That's <laughs> Woo! Uh, so we've got, I don't know if you can see, huh? new t shirts. Uh, thank you, Drop. Um, <laughs> we've got t shirts on the website. <laughs> Ow. Um, we've got new notebooks <laughs> and we did have, um, some Starbane pins. I think there are still some on the U S site. Yes. So, US um, they are out of stock in the UK now, but there might still be some to snag on the U S site. They are very limited oh, edition. So there are only a hundred of them made. So, um, yeah, we've got our stats t-shirt and long sleeve new notebook, uh, with the apothecary design and our Starbane pin. Enjoy. Yep. Use code High Rollers for ten percent off. Mm. Fresh done. merch, mm. High Rollers. Fresh merch, High Rollers. Go check that out. Links, yeah. links in the video. Links in the in the chat and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, new notebooks. One thing. Though, so the pins, uh, like Katie said, they were a hundred in number. There's gonna be new pins every month. That's the whole thing. Is like every month there's like a new limited edition pin, but they will sell out quick. Mm, maybe Not we might every have two month. in the next one. Two in oh. the next one. There we we might be skipping. We're we're in the process of a new system right. of doing some uh, uh, pins that cool are going to be very limited edition and uh, released periodically. So when your favorite pins show up, basically grab them because they're very limited. And um, we're we're testing yes. quantities at the moment. We're going to see how it goes. Um, so yeah, hope you like them. There we go. Man, mm -hmm. perfectus. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, and yeah, new brand new t-shirts. I really love the uh, the stats one that we've got. I've got it on at the moment. Whoop. Yeah. Uh, this one, I love this one. Um, we got the long sleeves. Get the notebooks. Get it all. Uh, merch is a great way to support us. If you want to support us um, and get something cool for yourself, grab some merch. Why don't Why don't you? Uh, why is there don't anything you? else? Anything else I need to mention? Uh, Tom Kimry, anything? Ooh, uh, you guys have oh, finished um, Tales of Xadia. If you want to go and check it out, that's all on our YouTube channels. Oh, yeah. mm. That's on yeah on our YouTube channel and also Fandom Tabletop's YouTube channel. Uh, episode yep. one and three on High Rollers, two and four on Fandoms. Uh, it yep. was a really cool. It was a really cool um, four episodes. We really enjoyed it. Uh, we yep. learned a lot about um, Cortex as well. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. um, check it out if you like Dragon Prince, or if you don't, watch it. That encompasses everyone. <laughs> You should watch it. <laughs> <laughs> are you a human? Nice. No? Watch it. You are? Watch it. <laughs> okay, nice. Thanks. Thanks, Tom. Um, anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Uh, Pitch Please is back. Let's go on with the episode. You, you can talk about Pitch Please, yeah. So Tom's uh, podcast, done it. Pitch Please. That's it. There you go. That's, go that's check that everything. out, too. All right. If you In like that me, case, let's play listen to it. some Dun Duns. If you don't, and then <laughs> listen to it. I'll do a recap. I was talking over him. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to High Rollers. The Storm Chasers, gifted with the means of planar travel from the Titan Hesper's last actions, traveled back into astral space to save their friend Quill, who was held captive by the sorceress Zarkira, commander in the Valkyrian Empire, aboard her vessel, the Serpent's Coil. Having successfully snuck in and located Quill, the party then quickly sought to dispatch the guards of the cells, and thanks to a very successful Dominate Monster spell from Lucius, avoided drawing more attention from the Mind Flayer servants of Zarkira. Using this new ally, Lucius retrieved Quill's gear without arousing suspicion, whilst Nova and Ayla released two other prisoners, a mutilated Deva called Rana El, and a strange, highly intelligent and magical kobold called Vesic. Just as the party's actions finally drew attention, and the two remaining Zarkira simulacrum arrived with a force of elite guards, Nova transported them all back to Erois, and specifically to the Halls of Infinite Resplendence. Here, Quill learned the fate of his god Hesper and met uh, Sayana, another uh, titan uh, who shared in their grief. The halfling goddess healed Raniel and transported the party back to their airship, where their next destination must be decided. And that is where we are. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Uh, it was just a, a longer pause on my enlarged face that I wasn't expecting, and I was just like, <laughs> I'm done. There's no more. Uh, <laughs> so right. that is where we are. I believe that we ended things, because uh, it has been a couple of weeks. Um, we ended things with you guys taking a long rest in Gusthaven, um, with the plan that you had a few things, uh, a few individual things that you wanted to do, as well as making decisions on what your next moves should be. So, I hand it over to you, my dear players. Um, what would you like to do? Assume that uh, if there was anything you specifically would like to do or would have liked to have happened uh, during your long rest, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, we will begin with you guys awakening to a new day. Yeah, I'm good. When you mentioned in the recap that mm. Lucius, with his dominate monster, mm -hmm. aroused, how aroused were they? I said avoided drawing more attention from the Mind Flayer servants, didn't I? Uh, aroused no suspicion. Yeah, just how aroused. <laughs> yeah. 
Sorry. What is it? Okay. Arouse no suspicion, so none. No oh, arousal. Shit. All right, that's me. I mean, a nice, <laughs> nice attempt at a joke, but you know, aroused suspicion is a phrase. Therefore, arouse no suspicion can also be a phrase. Okay. So we're going <laughs> with no then. <laughs> no, no, I made a funny joke about pee pee. <laughs> 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 I think it was about pee pee. Of course it was. It's Chris Trot. <laughs> mm. Anyway, uh, I anyway. think last time it was basically yeah, no, a choice. Yeah, trying between... really hard not to laugh there. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> she's, yeah like... she's also muted and she <laughs> doesn't muted realize. Um, <laughs> oh, really? No, anyway, the choice, face, was, like... the choice was uh, saving the guardians. Or going to well, Valor, right? I mean, it wasn't a direct choice. It was you guys were talking no, about mean, how, yeah, yeah that there was the idea that the guardians have all the sentry kind of asked Herald to assemble all the guardians in the city of Glass. The city of Glass is on the very tip of a continent called Gisela, which you know has basically said that they're going to side with the Valkyrian Empire when the time comes. So there's like yeah. some concerns about safety there and things like that. And, you know, would Sentry want to go to it immediately? You also have uh, the idea of rescuing Valor, um, which has been a long-term goal for the party for a while, um, who is currently aboard the Tasta. You have the means to gain access to it. You have some allies that were willing to help you and, and coordinate, a, you know, a rescue attempt or maybe coordinate a kind of assault on the Tassadar. Um, yeah. That was also an option, but there may be other things. I know, like, Nova wanted to go back and speak to her parents and stuff in Horizon, so there's a few little pieces, bits and pieces, so. There's also the uh, I... Beast Walkers, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They also uh, had something that they wanted to talk to you guys about. Yeah. I thought we'd already zipped over to Horizon because I remember you saying that like my family were being were staying at a kind of secured um, facility. That was before. Yeah, that was before the Gusthaven thing. Maybe maybe you guys did go back. Maybe. Oh yeah, because I registered yeah, I it to um, my bookie bookie. Yeah. There you go. All right, so you're back yeah. in Horizon then. We'll we'll assume that you start there. I don't know. Yeah. There's a lot going on. Yeah, we're in we're in Horizon. Uh, we're in Horizon. I need to make sure I pull up uh, some information in case you guys decide you want to do stuff. So okay, uh, okay. So yeah. So yeah, what's the plan? Uh, um, East Walkers? I, I guess, question mark. Yeah. As an aside to all of this, uh, doesn't have to be the first thing we do. But Nova would, before we go off onto the next big thing, Nova would like to have a conversation with her family and kind of figure out what they want to do because yeah probably a bit weird okay. I'm just sticking here in horizon um but yeah i don't have to go first though either on hey re what would you Hello. like to do <laughs> <laughs> call a meeting i guess like we all need, yeah, I was gonna need say, to have I, a little I, meeting right and figure out what we want to do yeah as a, I, as a team. I, I... I think that there was definitely a kind of the last thing because Rhiannon wasn't in the last episode um, that we kind of played through, right? So it was the idea that, uh, you know, the I think that the group has said, like, basically we need Sentry to figure out what she wants to do. So I think that, yeah, like maybe Sentry kind of calling a chat to discuss things going forward um, probably makes the most sense. Um, cool. To, and then that way, yeah, you guys can hear what that plan is. Um, all right. I guess so. I'll messenger ring everybody. It's time. We should, we should have a meeting to figure out our next steps, what we need to do as a group. Um, should we all meet in, in our room and just figure out where we, where we want to go, what we want to do? Who has sure. the comfiest cushions in their, in their place? I think, I think you do. I know I, I do. It's, it's always you. Question. It's always you. <laughs> Come over anytime. Uh, it's a bit worse for wear right now. I think I've been speaking too much. But uh, you take the lead, Sentry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lucius uh, had a couple of teeth removed while uh, on the way back to Horizon. So <laughs> um, <laughs> just had those fakes. Just as a point as well, if you guys are in Horizon, the storm chaser, your airship, would still be in Gusthaven because um, it takes time, time for that travel. I, th I believe you teleport circled to Horizon and that's where you kind of yep. established. Yeah, so and I've now got it registered be... in my book. 
Yes, and you do have quarters. You have sort of like um, the 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 citadel of the reborn, uh, which is the kind of headquarters of Danica, the kind of leader of Horizon. Uh, you have quarters in the barracks there. They're kind of very functional. They're not as elaborate as the kind of diplomat suite that you had before, but you definitely have like a small area that you uh, have been given to use as you see fit um, on behalf of Danica. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can all cool. uh, gather up. That's no mm. problem. Yeah, and then uh, take it away Sentry, I guess. Okay. So, oh, thank you all for coming. Uh, <laughs> I'm... Hello. Sure, <laughs> you all know me as Sentry. Hi. Meeting Sentry, time. this is weirdly, weirdly <laughs> Why is this formal? so formal? Yeah. I'm sorry. No, I'm like sorry. It. Is it a job interview? I'm, I'm used I'm to doing all of this with a group jobs. of strangers in a big room with people I haven't met before. I'll get through the awkwardness, but... Um, okay. So, okay. well, our, our mission, great. well, our mission to get you back was extremely successful, like I'd worryingly so. so. I'm here. Um, <laughs> you're here. You're back, and it's wonderful to have you back. With like, it's mission it's accomplished. I think um, this marks a huge turning point in our strategic. You know, oh, it, it absolutely in does. Our, in, our in the process of getting me back, you know, my God. Uh, died so well, your, i'd you, say well, yeah big turning point big well turning point i all don't around. i i yes i i understand yes that was i'm sorry i'm sorry to I'm be fair talking. though when when we got there we didn't get spotted the whole way through that massive place and i See, this think is, uh, that's, that's the what part i meant that you're kind of right on not the killing of anything which we didn't do there was a no. sacrifice made hey, we didn't no, ask saying, for it but i'm saying this was murder i know exactly what it was i I, I'll be honest, I find it hard to believe that Sentry got through that entire facility without clanking once. Flight. I know. Ah, really? Who knew? Who knew? Yeah. Flight was invisible the solution flight. the whole time. Invis yeah, inv invisible flight, exactly. We have the tools right. necessary to... Like, who knows what we could do? Who knows what we could do? This is... Anything and everything. Cheap. Anything and everything. So... My point so is. Speaking of. <laughs> speaking of, I know. Speaking of. What next? What? Uh, where are our priorities? What are our priorities? Where do well, we go from here? The summit's over, I assume. Everyone's left, mainly to head back to their Valkyrian Empire or to prepare for an invasion from their Valkyrian neighbors. So we don't need to worry about uh, convincing any more leaders except maybe the grand strategist uh i mentioned this before mm. if anything changes he said he would switch sides essentially I something get the has impression changed he's a, he's a man who likes to see physical results i think he'd like to see, he likes to see progress right so if we convince him that we're making progress and he can see it for himself maybe that will turn he didn't believe the magic eye thing he needs to physically see it which, mm. fair. Okay, well fair. in that case, when he physically sees uh, Zarkira betray Starbane to uh, take over the entire empire, or, or whatever she does, um, oh, yeah. then maybe so that will help. He knows about our plans, right? Yeah. She knows stuff. Oh. Hey, speaking mm. of... We should probably operate she... under that assumption. Yeah. yeah. Also, they know that I have the teleport circle to the Tassadar, I don't know how much they know about the plan itself, though. Okay. Wait, if she knows about the Tastar teleport circle, we might need to do that quickly before they change. Okay, there you go. One priority. Okay, Tastar. <laughs> um, well, Tastar number one. Quickie. Uh, mm -hmm. Regarding that, do we know that Zakira is still aligned with Valkyrian Empire, knowing this new intel? Was to, one of two things. Mm. This person interrogating you, that creature that I dominated, um, if they didn't get to Zarkira in time and we left and they were uh, overwhelmed and killed, then that information, including the portal, wouldn't have got to Zarkira. Or the inverse, everything's got to Zarkira. And where does that place us? Probably safer to assume that she knows everything because she's evil. Yeah, I mean, my eye is all tapped out. I can't use that until, well, tomorrow, actually. 
so I couldn't find out if uh, Sarkira knows or if the Mind Flayer told um, her until then. So again, operate as if she does know. Um, yeah. I think she'll be thriving on having a leg up of sorts on Starbane. So whatever what information Starbane doesn't know that she knows, she's, you know, Stronger. she's happy. Stronger, exactly. And we truly understand her motives. Do we know what she's going to do with this information? She's self-serving. She's self-serving. She'll do whatever she wants to do to give her the best that she can get out of it. And is that best served with the greatest force known in astral space or not? To go up against Valkyrian forces would be quite a lot to bargain on. Looks she like she does... had some pretty good forces herself, though. Yeah, she has a considerable army There's on her like own. There's like an army of Zarkiras to start with. They suck a lot. They threw rocks at our ship. Didn't like it. They were big rocks. Yeah. Um, other than that, other than Vala, priority two. Gisela is uh, Valkyrian now, I suppose. And also home of the City of Glass, which is where the, basically the remnants of the Guardian race are heading there. Yeah. Or are there? So the safety of the Guardians. Priority zero? Above Vala? Below Vala? What do you think? Guardian sentry, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I don't think the Guardians are really going to bend to the will of the people around them for a Valkyrian. So they could, they could get themselves in some trouble here. Or they could fight back and make their own way out. Mm. I don't know. They could... Part of me feels like they'll wait. For... That's what they've been told to do. They'll follow instructions. I feel like they'll hang around until that instruction has been completed, right? That's what I would do. Well, if you need to send any more instructions, then I can contact whoever you need me to contact to get the message to the Guardians. I can contact Herald. Get them to... Maybe move the Guardian somewhere safer, out of harm's way for now. Yeah. Or even just to idea. hold up. If they're in the City of Glass, a famously terrifying place, I mean, no one was going there before. Uh, maybe, maybe people are still terrified of it. So maybe that will buy us some time. Um, maybe. It's difficult. I, f I feel like I need to take responsibility for what I've done there. It's It was my fault. It was my fault I put them there in the first place, and I'll need to face up to that at some point. There is exactly no way we could have predicted that Gisela or any other nation would just decide to join Valkyrian Empire. Like that, You cannot blame yourself for that. None of us predicted it. We all thought it was an attack! I used like three, two or three charges on my eye to figure out how they were going to attack. I still didn't get anything because we all thought it was an attack. And it wasn't. It was just Starbane being ultra convincing. A dick. And a dick. Or that, but a bit of both. I have a thought. Now, obviously you're getting all the Guardians to locate Tassadar. Uh, not Tassadar, that would be ridiculous. Uh, Gisela. Unless... No, no, uh, I'm not suggesting that, because I, I do think time is of the essence, and we should, upon second thought, I thought that maybe having some guardians at our back on the Tassadar would be a good thing, but I think trying to rendezvous with them and getting them all together, and then us going to see Valor would take more time than we have, in terms of the element of surprise. So, where am I going with this? Horizon. Horizon can move, can it not? So, Slowly. I believe it can, yeah. The Guardians would be safe on Horizon. Now I'm wondering if they could meet halfway, or at least maybe Horizon could risk going into Gisela and picking up some Guardians. It could be seen as, as an act of war, though. If Horizon was to start moving towards Gisela, I mean, we'd know that they're there as 
transport, but who's to say the citizens mm. of Gisela don't see this as an attack? I mean, I, it's, it's an I, act of refugee. Like, those people, the guardians, they'd want to leave if they're of their own accord. And that should be diplomatically I mean, said to that Giselle. But that's the other thing we need to consider, is do the citizens of Giselle know that guardians are amassing in the city of glass? Would they think much of it? Would they do something about it? That, that would be my question. I will remind you guys, just uh, especially Century, you did pretty much tell uh, the Vicerine, the representative of Gisela, you basically told her that you were sending all the Guardians there. Yep. So certainly she knows. Yeah. Whether the citizens know is a different question, but she certainly knows. Um, that's a different different matter altogether. In terms of Horizon moving, um, one thing you guys would know, I would have had Danica, you know, Danica would have mentioned this. It moves at roughly the same speed as an airship. So it's not quick. It will take, you know, several days to reach the destination. So going somewhere like Gisela would take several days to do. Um, well, that's, I'm just putting another option on the table there, uh, whether it's a good idea or not. Um, whether we need to get the Guardians out of the City of Glass or not remains to be seen. Obviously, you want to keep them all safe, and I think the safest place for them is not in the City of Glass right now. Yeah. I think uh, maybe we could ask Danica about the diplomatic angle. I think that's a good idea. You know, war does have terms and treaties, and people do respect them. So I think, yeah, maybe Danica could ask diplomatically if we can safely... Um, evacuate the Guardians. That sounds like a good idea. I mean, safely evacuate them, or they might get really annoyed because they're being asked to join Starbane, you know, their mortal enemy. So... Well... I feel it's... like getting them out of there before any trouble starts is probably the best shout for both sides. Aren't all Guardians just their own? And... Solven warriors like yourself, Sentry, are mortal enemies of Starbane. There could be guardians that could see the side of Starbane's forces. It's certainly possible, yeah. Um, I would say, and Sentry would know this, most guardians were built um, before the war with the Valkyrian Empire, and even the ones who weren't in Solvin, ones that served elsewhere, still would have been on Eroas's side during that conflict. Now, that doesn't mean that they don't change their minds and that they become more independent, but yeah, you know, in the same way that Sentry is very protective over Solvin, Guardians that were stationed in Gold Throne or, or Guardians that were stationed in Gisela may be, may be loyal to those places as well. So, um, yeah. No pressure, Sentry. Uh, we've all got your back. Regardless of what we choose, I think we're going to make the right decision. We just have to act quickly, I think. Yeah, thank you. Part of me feels like the Tassadar may be more important. Having Valor back here would be... would be big. Zarkira think... could even get to her. She's got access to her. If she knows that we have a connection there, she can use her as a bargaining chip. We don't well, want that. Also, if she knows that we have the teleportation circle. We risked a lot to get this, these, these runes and also communicated them with the Wings of Ishtar. I think we'd be losing a lot to not act on it straight away. Um, well, should we message the Wings of Ishtar? That's the problem. They're our backup. We can't. Yeah. We can't? You we can. have the free... Oh. Quill can. Yeah, it's cool, Ken. Yeah. It has a chance of failing, but I think I know when it fails. Yes, you do. It's um, a five percent chance. Yeah. Nice. Um, so we're sent. We we communicate with the wings of Ishtar. They come in and help us. When I guess I communicate the right time to them, if time works the same way where they do, where they are, probably not. But who are we taking with us? Obviously, all of us are going. Um, who, who are we bringing with us? Who would we need? How many people can we take? So, uh, with a teleportation circle now, teleportation circles uh, are a different thing. Teleportation, I need to spell it right first. Um, 
There's a big difference between a teleportation circle that jumps across Aroas and a teleportation circle that goes up into the Astral Sea. Normally, a teleportation circle can't go to other planes of existence. You would need plane shift to do that. However, uh, Valkyrian seems to have developed runes that allow him to do that. So you're kind of like transporting to a, a special teleportation circle that allows cross-planar travel uh it's basically you can fit as many people um any creature that enters the portal basically any the as not as many creatures as can enter the portal within six seconds so you could take a small force i would probably say no more than sort of 10 people um the 10 foot max area ten foot diameter yeah. it's a 10 foot area yeah it's but that's well that's the that's the the portal is only five foot um because the the circle is a ten foot diameter thing, but the portal isn't. Um, yeah. Yeah. Any creature that enters. So basically, the portal. So all of us. You could take a portal. small unit at best. You could take a kind of, but then I guess you know you need to make the decision of you know how many people can you take and how many people do you want to take. Um, I'd say that Sentry would certainly know the more people, and Ayla would probably know this from a hunting perspective as well. More people much more chance of being detected. Normally, if you want to do something quickly and quietly, you want less people. Um, if you were trying to storm a base, you want more people. Um, but that's going to be a very obvious thing that you're doing. Um, I mean, it is the Tassadar. Yeah. Could uh, be a good idea? We could take um, oh, yeah. Angel with us. Oh, Rana. Rana. Yeah. Rana. Well, she's she, with the Wings of Ishtar. She said she would help anyway. Yeah, so mm -hmm. she'd be a powerful person to have because, you know, she's just a badass in general. And then maybe we uh, can reunite oh, her with God. the Wings of Ishtar. That was the, yeah. that was the plan. A good job all around. Ishtar uh, and Rana? I don't Rana. think we should have much more than that. No, I don't think so. No. And if and Wings of Ishtar join us as well, then they'll probably have a couple of people, but at least people who need to get back to Aroas, <laughs> maybe keep them to a small number. Actually, at you what know. point does it become beneficial for us to have so many NPCs that Mark has to think about that the battle sways in our favor based on that alone? I oh, I think won't think about it, Chris Trot. I'll just have it fail. <laughs> I won't think about it. I'll just be like, five of them die. Uh, what's what <laughs> <happening> <laughs> together? <laughs> Rose Meadow's dead. Uh, we'll bring Arvel. Yeah, we'll bring Pet Arvel. Pet dead. Wow. Nova's entire <laughs> family. Sneaks have been resurrected. That for many this. die. <laughs> yeah. He's dead again. Um, yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Okay. Oh, that's a point. Speaking of Sneak. Um, what was his name? Uh, Ves Vesic. Uh, Vesic. 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 Yeah. Vesic. Do we bring Vesic? He he sees time, and he can smell future. He's a maniac. Future. Hard to oh, control. <laughs> he's he a maniac. A yeah. I mean, yeah. he's pretty cool. Um, I smell wild, wild magic. He's he's Ugh. chaos. Yeah. He helped. He because helped in was... one very specific situation because it was people who had capt who had captured him. He was a prisoner, and he wanted to escape. That's in his best interest. Is this in his best interest? If I mean, he if serves. I calmed him down. Us, that's what he said. If, <laughs> oh, that's if true. If I hadn't yeah. calmed him down, he very much would have teleported me straight off the ship. If I hadn't stopped him, he was pulling me away from all of you. Um, yeah, it took everything to I'm get just... him to stop, so mm. we could execute the plan. Look, Zarkira knows us. She has books of notes on us. Doesn't know Vesic. We can't even predict him. Data crystals. How will she? What do you mean, don't what? know? She she has him experimented on him. She may not remember him. She created Vesic, basically. <laughs> yeah. She created him. Yeah. <laughs> he, like, that's a good point. Could be like a... <laughs> what you a good him? point. He's got like a sleeper agent in him. She's got code exactly. words. Exactly. And he just snaps. He's, he's on Rusted. their side. 17. Great so car. We, what's going to stop him walking <laughs> up to... He's going to walk up to whoever and tell them when they're going to die. Like... The, who, yeah, who's going to stop him sounds, from doing that? That sounds like a great I mean, weapon to me. It's a very charming <laughs> way to introduce yourself to people, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've Can got I about 20 days remaining. I should tell <laughs> Pete Callis that. Maybe that's more evidence. 
yeah, <laughs> if, someone, if someone walks up to me with a sword and says, you're going to die, I'll take that as a threat. If a little goblin walks up to me and says, no, for real, you're going to die, I will take that seriously. <laughs> He's terrifying. I vote no. You can take Vesic? Okay. No, no. to Vesic. Okay, guys, no Vesic. I, I love him, but I think he'll be a liability. I'd rather take Smeek than Vesic. And that's saying it's something! It's <laughs> yeah, yeah really? safe uh, Go Smeek. As a point, we'll, we'll gloss him. over, like, going and picking people up. Like, if you want to go to Gusthaven and grab Moonstar, and if you wanted to bring anybody from the crew, like, anybody anybody like that that you can... is either on Gusthaven or Horizon, they're very easy to access, right? We're, we're not going to yeah. have to do a whole thing of going and picking them up. Um, oh, I got my book. I want yeah? Scorp. <laughs> yeah, that's difficult. Uh, if you guys want to do any like <laughs> the spells or any other kind of spells, you could certainly ask. You could ask. I believe that the um, General Actually, General no, uh, General Felissa was in Gusthaven, but you could go and ask her. She, she stayed with her. I mean, I have a feeling she... that she'd get really mad and just lose sight. Also. I mean... Uh, her dragon form wouldn't like from the ships like the serpent's core you're on a dragon doesn't fit inside those corridors like you know she probably wouldn't be able to be in her full draconic form we inside a small space like that the, the dragons That's would love it, to come with us so. oh yeah i bet she Shall would, I would? absolutely um uh, i'm trying to think who else idea it mm -hmm. could okay. be a reinforcement we could tell them our plans and if they don't hear from us or if something seems to be going wrong, we send a message and for backup. Yeah. Yeah, so what, we just go in five of us and then... And the wings of Ishtar. Covert. Yeah, and we have a code word that we send back to bring more reinforcements in. Uh, what's the opposite of clear skies? Mm. It's getting real cloudy. <laughs> Storms Dusty <are> ground. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we'll say that to them. Uh, okay, in that case, so Rana and Moonstar. I guess yeah. I think they're probably good options. Although I do worry about Moonstar. Hey, if you she's a bit squishier. If you all thought about this parallel, that what? we were on an airship when we first met, and the Court of Shadows themselves attacked us to get Valor off the ship and we're doing the same back well let's hope that some of them are sleeping and holding teddy bears <laughs> just like you were <laughs> valor for a valor i'd rather um, the ship stay like intact at least while we're on it this time though because yeah you know after <laughs> we're gone fair enough but being on top of a ship again that's that's you know, plummeting and ex or exploding and just no, not again. Okay, well, let's do what they didn't uh, and succeed in their mission. <laughs> I okay. I would like to suggest as well that as well as rescuing Valor, um, one perhaps we try and contact her again to let her know, but also I would like to rescue Tassadar. Um, Tiangong, I don't know if you have any thoughts on this. If if you know of how Tassadar is embedded into the ship. Yes. What I would you like me to explain, Nova? I presume it's similar to Eterna that we've encountered before. As soon as we remove Tassadar, the ship will power down? That is unlikely aboard Tassadar. Callus had warships long before their deal with the Eterna. They can be powered by elemental and infernal engines. I suspect Callus will have redundant backups in this instance. Tassadar is also very powerful and logical, likely runs a large portion of the ship's systems. If, when we, we get there, would there be a way for you to communicate with Tassadar? Yes. I will need to be in a do local you, vicinity. Do you think there's a way that... Is there a chance that Tassadar has been corrupted? Is there a way to perhaps communicate yes. with Tassadar and get them to help us? Oh. If we can... If we can 
travel to the area the Tassadar is being held, I will attempt communication with them. Okay. But it is possible they have become corrupted. Also possible their relationship with Valkyrian is different to my own. Tassadar, very logical. Okay, well, maybe if we could present to Tassadar what we've seen from Quill, that Valkyrian's plan will not work, and he's on the losing side. Maybe Compelling Tassadar argument. Will... Yeah. Um, do you have any advice for us? Regarding which topic, Nova Vija? I guess just infiltrating the Valkyrian flagship. <laughs> the Tassadar is a key ship within the Valkyrian Empire, Kallus's flagship. However, it is not the only warship he has access to. It will be heavily guarded. Callus prefers to use constructs and elite soldiers, as opposed to the monstrosities that you have likely encountered aboard, uh, that we encountered aboard the Serpent's Coil. Constructs will not be able to be mind-controlled, as Mr. Elanesto did previously. Elite soldiers will be more susceptible, but they are highly trained and very loyal to Callus. The sections of the ship will be coordinated into different areas. Different members of the crew will have different uh, access to different stations. There will be technology and magitech to prevent infiltration via spells such as invisibility, but likely not in all areas. It may be worthwhile discussing this with the wings of Ishtar. You have the schematics, Nova Vija, of the Tassadar. We acquired them in astral space. Yes. Would you like I me to show you them? That. Yes, yes, I remembered that too. <laughs> we need all the duct. So uh, Tiangong, spaces. out of Tiangong's blade, will project the kind of image of the schematics uh, into the room for you. And if you guys go on roll twenty, uh, whoop! Wow. Oh, there is a map. Okay. Cool. Uh, now so you don't have any context, it, so. You have, ah. you know, uh, you can see the teleportation circle. You don't necessarily have any context of where things are going to be located or what access you will be able to get access to, but this does kind of give you an idea of some things. Um, L1 and L2 are Magitech elevators. Uh, you encountered these on, on uh, various places before. Uh, they can access it. But it seems to be split into kind of three or four main decks uh, the lower deck, the mid deck, uh, the top deck, and then the bridge deck. And then there are different uh, rooms and sections that can be accessed. Now, this obviously isn't a, a complete map layout. This is like a rough schematic of like where things are located. Um, individual corridors and stuff will be uh, represented. You know, no, you know, you'll travel through those normally. Um, but the main sort okay. of like key stations that would be of interest are highlighted here. So we turn up just below the four mid deck. Where would Vala be? Commander's quarters? Officer quarters? Cells? At the top, somewhere, no doubt. Yeah. Probably near where Starbane would be. Okay. Tiangong, Hopefully. where would Tassadar likely be located? Tassadar would most likely be located within the ship heart. This is the central core of the crystalline warships Callus uses. Okay. As you can see on the schematics, it will be difficult to access. Mid-deck security will be a highly advanced and guarded checkpoint, and the engineer station will contain many workers, uh, likely high-level officers as well. Hmm. Um, does anyone have any keystones or anything? Uh, would they work, you know, perhaps from previous uh, missions that we've had? Um, Maybe. I wonder if they would work on some of the security points. Um, did we bring anything back from Aegis V? We brought back the outfit. Oh no, that was Aegis V didn't have keystones. Yeah, yeah. You, the Dragon Ball took the outfits. Uh, you did. The Wings of Ishtar said that they would procure keystones and and um, outfits. That was yes. the the deal. You guys were going to get the schematics, and they were going to get like disguises and access stones, basically. Um, Okay. But you need to, you don't know what like level they're going to get or like what they're necessarily going to have access to. So, 
Um, yeah, probably century. a good idea too. Also, Ayla just had natural access as well on Aegis yeah. Five, yeah. which might have been revoked. <laughs> I imagine. Well, yeah. I think, and then the, they, yeah, I didn't have them have that on Zarkira's ship. Yeah, so that was well, Zarkira. Even clones, I think. Yeah. Um, well, which, uh, there was the Keystone, the keyword practice file as well. That worked last time. Yeah. Um. The, uh, Sentry, it, it might be an idea. I don't know if you want to bring Helios along. Um, Helios might be uh, interested in possibly rescuing Tassadar. Um, yeah. yeah. I'll bring him. Good idea. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, well, I guess let's contact the wings then. Yeah, I can tell them to prepare while we gather all the people. Uh, and we want them to come in with us, or after we get in? Perhaps... Well, they have the access keys. Mm. <clears throat> so at the same time as us, then? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, in that case, yeah, I'll do a sending, and I guess we have a rough time of when we're leaving, right? When are we going? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Today. I don't know. As soon as possible. As soon as, as soon as possible. Ask them when they can get there. Uh, sure. Once we get yeah, Moonstar I'll... and Rana gathered up in however long that takes. I'll take hardly any time at all. I can just wamp us over with the book again. Um, and Helios. And Helios, yeah. yeah. Helios is on the Storm Chaser okay. as well. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. Cool. Yeah, do I need to send him a very specific men? Oh, God. Uh, Got 25 it's, words. It's time. The assault on the Tassadar begins tomorrow at a time. Oh, 0800 hours. <laughs> like, whenever. Um, how prepared are you? Uh, Seven words left. And how many horses can bring? <laughs> Two words can you left. Bring? Can you bring Quill? <laughs> I didn't say clear okay. skies. It's a momentary pause. Are you, are you sending that to Zellion, the Solar that you spoke to, the leader? Yes. Oh, do I need to roll for it to see if that just straight fails? Or... You do. You need to do a 5% chance to see if it works. I'll roll it. Let's keep it a secret. Oh, okay. Let's keep it a secret. <laughs> it appears to go through. Um, you wait for a moment, and there is a response uh, from Zellion. Uh, this kind of very peaceful, angelic voice comes back through. We clear skies first. <laughs> mm -hmm. We are ready. We should coordinate. We'll have someone contact you with way to plan shortly. objectives to discuss we are ready zellion objectives to discuss oh god okay uh, yeah i'll communicate that with everyone obviously i'm glad um, we did that <laughs> yeah okay uh a little worrying they may have other objectives it might split the forces while we're chasing down vala and potentially going after the Tastar itself I'm worried they might plan for something else, but they are forced. I mean, they did. When when you guys first spoke with them, they were like a kind of a "we'll come and help you," but w their main objective is to kind of like disable the Valkyrian Empire, right? Like that, they're like, "We'll help you rescue Valor," but their main thing was like delivering a blow to the Empire. So yeah, that's that's might they might want it. I mean, an yeah. taking debate. back Tassadar would probably be a, a help to that yeah. goal. Yeah, exactly. You know, so it might just be that they want to do that and then. You know that that aligns with both of what you want to do. 
okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm good with that. Waiting for uh, their further message and then coordinating it better, unless anyone else wanted to do anything. Sentry? Okay. Is it okay if I message Herald, Quill? Yep, just tell me the message. 25 words. Thank you. Um, I'll say, um, hope all is well. Um, move Guardians away from City of Glass. Gisela compromised. Right uh, stay safe. We'll be with you soon. Sentry. Okay. Any words left? Uh, you wrote it down. I, I, I stopped counting because I was clearly that you had planned it out. So I was just yeah. like, yeah, I don't need to worry. Yeah, uh, if you have five left, clear skies. <laughs> clear skies. <laughs> the message you get back is from Harold. Clear skies. Difficult to move guardians. Air over Gisela. Uh, I'm trying to think of the word. Busy, many airships. Difficult to move large numbers unseen. Have hidden in City of Glass. Local forces assisting. <laughs> Something along that line. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying yeah, to think yeah, of this yeah. on the spot as well, but yeah, you, the impression is that they, yeah, there, there is, they cannot move uh, all the guardians without, yeah, easily, uh, without being seen, and the impression, and there's airships patrolling Gisela, basically. Yeah, I mean, City of Glass was on the like the coast, right? The tip. border. Yeah, it was Gisella, on the peninsula. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'll say that. Okay. That doesn't sound good. It is indeed a blockade. A blockade of airships. That's that's the kind of thing I was... That's the word I was trying to think of. A blockade. Um, but it did sound like... I mean, Herald didn't sound like, you know, they were in battle or anything like that. They, mm. they sounded like they are basically keeping low at the moment. But, you know, you don't know how long that's going to be... They're going to be able to mm. keep that up. So. Okay. Well, it sounds like they're... Shoring down for now. Yeah, for now. It's just... It's good information from when we try to get into the place. It's not going to yeah. be easy. Uh, well, unless we send an entire city over to them, then it might be a little bit easier. But, you know... Um, they're safe for now. Thank you, Quill. Okay. I am a uh, phone... Nova, while they're doing... <laughs> Okay, uh, right. Nova, while they're doing that, do you want to go and um, speak to family? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Just wrap yeah. some things up. See, see what yeah. they uh, want to do. They are, they are here on Horizon. There is a kind of large townhouse um, in the kind of upper sections of the city, close to the citadel. Uh, it's being guarded. You can, you know, there are guards out front of patrolling, um just keeping an eye on the place. It's a kind of little bit, and I mentioned this before, there's a little bit of wanting to... Your family aren't really allowed to leave. They're kind of under house arrest, but it's also a kind of protecting if anybody tried to come and give them trouble for being Ganass, right? Because even you walking around, you have guards. Uh, Rain, make sure that their guards go with you because there's definitely looks coming your way. Like having heard about, you know, the message of, you know, Vortensar joining up with Chaos and stuff, there's definitely kind of whispers and rumors. But I think you would be well known enough in Horizon from, you know, your exploits with the Storm Chasers that most people don't consider you that, but a bunch of other Ganassi would definitely kind of draw suspicion you think um mm. when you get inside the mood is a little dour uh you kind of i think that your your mom and dad are definitely uh, not pleased with being kind of kept here um aurora is making the best of it um but yeah they kind of like rush over your mom you know gives you a big hug so does your dad kind of like wraps their arms around you just like oh, oh is everything all right nova what's what's going on uh, I, yeah, the last thing uh, I heard was that sorry. you were being rushed. You, you rushed off somewhere. Yeah. Um, Starbane was attacking Gusthaven, uh, so we had to go and defend it. Um, is, is everything all right? Yeah. Everything safe? Uh, Gusthaven is safe for now. Some damage, but luckily we managed to stop the attack before there was. Any 
it has um <laughs> uh, glitched out a little bit that's fine sorry uh we managed to stop the attack before there were too many fatalities so that's good <laughs> oh good I'm, I'm glad to hear it have you have you spoken to the the lady who runs this city <laughs> We've been trying to ask if we can leave, but the guards have been saying that we need to stay here for our own our own protection. Uh, you, you you spoke with her last time. Is there something that you can do, Nova? We want to we want to go home. That's what I was going to ask. Is what you wanted to do? Um, if you want to go back to Vortensar, I'm sure that's fine. I'll ask Danica, and you know, it's it's only fair. But you may want to be careful. Um, I don't know how much you can trust Starbane. I don't know how much you can trust... You're linked to me. And I am an active problem to Starbane. Things... People may come for you to use you against me. To, yeah. Um, There's definitely... The kind of sound of that, I think, that you're... you're Mum and Dad definitely look, uh, it's like a darker look kind of comes over their expression. Aurora kind of stands up, you know, she's probably been doing, you know, pacing around and she moves over. It's like, that's what I've been trying to tell them. I don't think we should go back. Mum and Dad want to go back because they keep blathering on about friends and their work being there. But you heard what Nova said. This is a war. We can't go back. We're not safe there. Not just because of that, but we shouldn't go back. They, they tricked us. They tricked you. They lied about all of this stuff. They didn't tell us what was going on. We we shouldn't go back. And you can see that, like, Aurora comes and stands next to you. Like, you can see that the kind of youthful, you know, her being a bit younger, she's kind of seeing the sides of things that your parents can't. You know, they're thinking like, oh, but, uh, you know, the their friends and family and business and stuff like that is, is you know, their kind of life. Um, but your mum kind of, like, nods her head. I, I don't like the idea of us leaving our friends and and our home and the businesses and things like that. Uh, we've worked so hard for it all, but if the fact that if you are an enemy of this Valkyrian, this empire, I, 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 I don't think it's right that we go back. I, I, I worry about your father and your sister and me, quite frankly, like you said, being targeted. But I don't want to stay here. I don't want to feel like I'm a prisoner in some place or that the people out there are out to get us. I don't want to stay here either. But I, I don't think we can go home. And I don't know what to do, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean for this to happen. I... We know. It's I, not your fault. Um, From what you said, I've been thinking about what you said. The votes, the, the the council members, they clearly knew more than they were telling us. And I, I feel that we have been tricked to an extent. I still believe that being reunited with our old world, to, to have that connection is good. And that I don't think we should be dragged into some war with some vastly superior force. I, I, that seems madness to me. I don't like the fact that we were lied to. And I don't like the fact that they're after you. The fact that they're threatening you. I really appreciate that you've listened, Mum, Dad. I, I really appreciate that you, you've taken this on board and you've listened. And um, maybe, maybe we can move you to Gusthaven. Um, we're friends with the prince there. Maybe he can help. Uh, I, I understand that it's not fun here with the guards outside, but they are, they are here to protect you as well. Unfortunately, there does seem to be a wave of people angry at Ganassi. Um, but, but I understand that you're not comfortable, so, so maybe, maybe Gusthaven would be better for you. Um, we have friends there, we have contacts that could help. Um, Aurora kind of folds her arms. Don't... Gusthaven was just attacked, you said. Nova, listen, you... you know, I know you're not... You, you've gotten pretty good at fighting and, and you know all this magic. So in your opinion, what's safer? Here or Gusthaven? Just the facts. Honestly, I don't think anywhere is safe right now. 
Um, I, I don't know what to recommend. I think this whole Aroas is at danger. Everywhere we've been, Zar Zarkira and Starbane's forces have been there, and if not them, Hadar. Um, everywhere we've been, there's people working for both sides. I genuinely couldn't recommend where to go. All I know is Gusthaven. We have we have safe places there. The only thing is, Horizon obviously might be a target soon, especially if we ask Danica uh, to use mm. it to rescue the Guardians. I'm afraid that this is just what Aroas is now. Everywhere is dangerous. Everywhere is a target. Your mum kind of paces around. She kind of like flattens her hair down, wrings her hands a little bit. And, she, and you see her, she goes into thinking mode that when she's trying to like figure stuff out, you know, she starts like patting like her hands. She's trying to find something to keep her hands busy. Your dad just sits down looking completely overwhelmed. Um, this is a bit too much for him. And it's a little bit beyond him to really rationally think things out. And your mum kind of spends some time thinking. She's just like, we'll go to Gusthaven. It sounds like this place is, if this is going to be a, a target or if it's, if we don't feel safe here and, and if it's going to be a target anyway, I'd, I'd rather be somewhere where you at least know more people. You say that you have friends there that you know this prince, that you have people, safe places. I, I'd rather be there, I think, than, than here. And yes, yes, I think that that's for the best. I, I, I think that, that, that suits better. Um, okay. Um. I'll I'll arrange that then. Um, maybe it might be an idea to try and contact um, Tornado as well. Uh, Cloud Tornado, Cloud Tornado. I never know which name he wants me to use. But, um, oh, just uh, his silly jousting him. name. Look, look, there's, there's no time for that. Look, I've been trying to. I want. I've asked. To, well, we've we've asked them to send letters for us, and they have. The guards have taken the letters for us, but. Oh, we just I, I don't know where he is I, I mean he was supposed to be in the in tournament here I think the next tournament was going to be in in another one of the sky cities or cloud garden or some such but I just I don't know where he is uh, I don't okay, I don't I'll, know I'll figure that out I'll okay. I'll, I'll, I'll well, work tell him out, where we are then um yeah I'll um I'll talk to the professor as well because the professor can maybe go with you as well and at least that's another friendly face as well um, she's been she she went off to work uh, to speak to the people in the palace said that she could help them with all the magic and planar research that she'd done she she was ad advising the the steward i think here okay um well maybe I'll, I'll i'll mention i'll see what she wants to do but um okay. mum uh dad stupid sister um i i'm Punch going off on a mission now now um I'm going off on another mission, um, and it's going to be a pretty dangerous one. But hopefully, if everything goes all right, this will be a big victory for us. Um, so, just stay safe. And, and you sure you ha you have you have to go? Isn't uh, there must be other warriors or knights or, or mages that could go? Surely. I have to go. It's um something I promised Tiangong and. I, I can't leave the others as well. See, I think out of the out of your assembled family, your mum has the hardest time accepting that. And it's it's probably your dad who just kinda comes over, puts a hand on your shoulder and is just like, You know best. And all of this you know far more than any of us do. And I'm relieved to know that well, you're taking care of it. This is a bit beyond me and, and my paintbrush, so I'm glad our little clever scholar is out there fixing things. Thanks, Dad. Just kind of... And, um, I'll do everything I can to keep you guys safe. And, um, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. You have nothing to apologize for, my, my girl. Nothing at all. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so I think, yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah, and you can definitely make those plans. I think um, if you head off, uh, speak with Rain, um, they can definitely arrange to have, you know, they can basically have an armed get uh, armed escort take them to the teleportation circle and then have them taken to Gusthaven. Uh, and you can accompany them and, and make arrangements with Aradan. It probably would make most sense for them to kind of be stationed in uh, 
somewhere like with Moonstar, like with with Adea or in the Sky Prince in the in the palace. Um, probably Aradan would would offer to let them stay there, and and you know yeah. he would keep them under guard. That'd be awesome. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Aradan will kind of take them in uh, and uh, look after them and stuff, and then yeah, you've also got like Thalia and uh, and Azaria and and the shipwrights and the Storm Chaser crew there as well. Cool. Yeah. Thalia. Yeah. Introduce them to the family. Here's my <laughs> whole family. family. Yeah. Well, Just the, guard them the with your goal. life. Yeah. Uh, I think the other thing as well. Yeah. Okay. No, I don't think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, so yeah. All right. Well, there's there's that kind of at least we know where your parents are going to be and where they're going. Mm -hmm. um, anything from anybody else? Like any other kind of things you want to do? Spells you want to cast or prep you want to make? Um. Hmm, I think I need to switch out all my spells when we uh, prep for the actual long rest, yeah. the long rest. Yeah. Oh, the Beast okay. Walkers. Keep forgetting to talk to those. Do you want to talk to them um, now? They are in Horizon. Uh, they've they've remained behind, waiting to talk to you. I also want to get on with the uh, assault on Tassadar, though. At the same time, um, yeah, you can just tell them we'll be back in two days, or we'll be dead. Yeah, <laughs> we're probably going to die yeah. soon. So, if uh, if we do yeah. die, find someone else. They can help you out. Sure, you pass the um, message on. Uh, we'll we'll do it. We'll do that. We'll have like a bigger RP thing when you guys come back. <laughs> if you want to crack on, yeah. um, do you want to tell? Do you tell Danica what you're doing? Do you actually go and tell Danica about the plan with the Tassadar and stuff, or are you gonna kind of just keep her in? I mean, yeah, yeah uh, she's as on side as. Um, Oh my god, I've forgotten the Gusthaven boy. Everyone is going to hate me for that. Aradan. Aradan. Prince Aradan. 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 Mm -hmm. Aradan. I literally said his name the about Gusthaven 10 minutes ago. Boy. <laughs> Gusthaven <know. laughs> Gusthaven uh, boy. Gusthaven boy. Gusthaven boy. I have not made any friends to get Aradan. No, uh, Nightjar <laughs> and Fail are definitely going to be very unhappy with you. Um, no, no, I'm sorry. When you go and speak with Danica and you kind of explain what you're doing, uh, Danica turns around and is like, very noble endeavor and and certainly if you can rescue this valor if what you've told me about her is is accurate we should absolutely try and rescue her and bring her to our side in all of this um if i'm being quite honest if you are going all that way to callus's flagship destroy it if you have the opportunity to destroy that ship do it you would be robbing his fleet of an incredibly powerful weapon and we must take every advantage we can. We are outnumbered and we are outgunned if this comes down to a battle. If you have the opportunity to destroy that ship, take it. I mean, we may be able to disable it if we rescue Tassadar themselves. Um, will that completely will that completely disable it? I don't yeah, know. I'm how thinking these giant explosions work. after we leave, you know. Certainly. You obviously so, don't destroy it while you're on it, but uh, yes. If you can find just, a way to you know, destroy make, it. Make it look like a real mess. Just go nuts. All the explosions that can happen. Knock over all their pots and pans. I, let me put it... Let me, let me be clear. In a year's time, this force will invade our world. They have superior firepower, superior magic, superior technology, superior numbers in many cases. We cannot afford to let these sorts of opportunities pass us by. I am a very practical, pragmatic person. They are going to be our enemies. I don't think that we can be holding... We, can, we cannot afford to show them mercy or to fight honorably. We have to take our opportunities where we find them. And you are being given an enormous opportunity here. Now, I unfortunately don't think I can find or create something in the next 24 hours. Even my best even my best enchanters won't be able to create something in that time. So you may need to find your own method of doing this, but uh, if, if I can make one suggestion, it is that. This could be what we could show to the Grand Strategist. We've got some bombs somewhere. Exactly. Think of it in that regard. There are still many forces here on Aroes which are unconvinced. The Grand Strategist is but one. Savona still hasn't chosen a side either. 
King Telvin is still arguing with his advisors on which, which side of this coin he should fall. Things like this, they make a difference. They can give people hope. They can make it feel like we can win. Okay. <clears throat> well. Yep. That's the plan anyway. Well, priority one, Valor. Uh, the Wings of Ishtar have their plans. They want to deal a sizable blow to the Valkyrian Empire. Maybe they have some plan of how to destroy this thing. Um, certainly, if they are if they are of the type, if they are of the same mindset as I, I imagine that their objective will be something along what I have suggested. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're just waiting for their message so we can coordinate properly and work out similar objectives. Hmm. Well, when you return, Horizon will be. I will have it prepared. Is there anything you wish to do once you do return? Is there anything I should be preparing us for? A very angry star babe. Oh, that I'm already preferring. What was that, Sentinel Prime? Sorry, uh, Gisela. They're uh, preparing mm. for something. I don't know I've what. I've been getting a few scout reports that they are massing their fleets. Gisela has always had a very strong uh, navy uh, of airships, mm. uh, and they are apparently patrolling their borders, creating something of a blockade. Is there something that we should be preparing for? Do you, do you need us to be aware of anything or prepare for anything? The Guardians are there, but uh, other than keeping an eye on Gisela, I don't know what else we can do until we go there ourselves. I mean, I can reach out diplomatically if there is things that you need doing, but <sighs> the princess of Gisela is... A stubborn one, um, and the fact that she has already decided to throw in her lot with Valkyrian, well, it matches up with her character. She's very self-serving. I can't imagine that any request of diplomacy will be met eagerly. Uh, do you know if the... you say that the Guardians... Uh, what do you mean? A particular unit? I, uh... I gathered... Well, I asked Herald if they could gather as many Guardians as they could in the City of Glass. I was hoping to amass uh. some kind of... Or at least introduce myself to them. I have... As... Uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it hasn't gone to plan. It cannot have been anticipated. But if there's something we can do, having many Guardians... Guardians are capable fighters, but not just that. Their artisans are exceptionally skilled. Uh, we could use as many Guardians as we can find. Uh, normally, Guardians are hesitant to get involved in matters like this. Uh, uh, from what I understand, Guardians have a very short lifespan. Uh, they only normally last a few years, and then they normally just vanish, disappear. The more we have, the, the, the better, in my opinion. A powerful ally to have on our side. Yeah. Hopefully mm. we can get them all out in one piece. Very well. Well, I will begin having us prepare for such an endeavour. I suspect once you do return, um, perhaps once we can deal, once we can go and do something about the Guardians, I will need to have some of you... Uh, we will need to begin making preparations for various other activities. Uh, smaller strike forces, uh, for those of you who have a more uh, combat uh, skill set, uh, as well as those of you who are powerful mages, we will need to begin preparing defenses, uh, training individuals. There will also be some diplomacy involved. Uh, once you get back from this Tassadar and once Sentinel Prime has dealt with these Guardians, I'm going to be keeping you busy for some time, so make sure that you have things under control when you return. Okay. Okay. We can do that. Keep things under control. That's what we do probably the worst, actually. It's going to be a, well, it's going to be a busy year, and I'm going to put mm. you to work. Uh, not that I wish to be seen as some sort of leader, but... I think that in my position, knowing with Aradan and his skill strengths, I think that this is best suited to me to coordinate these matters. Uh, to be the hand that wields the blade, uh, in this case. Okay. Okay. Very well. Well, 
Best of luck. I uh, hope that the gods and the luck of Siaska travels with you. Thank you. <laughs> she doesn't know. Uh, so, uh, yeah, with that, I guess you guys want to make any any preps. You guys want to... It's easy enough. You can go grab Moonstar and Raniel. They'll both come with you. Like They're not going to say no. They'll obviously come and help. Um, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah, guess... grab those. Wait for the message from Grab them Herald. as well. Oh, Herald, um, do uh, Helios. Helios. Um, Helios yeah. Do we want to send a message to Vala? Like, do we want to try and talk yeah, to Vala? That's a good question. Um, like, give her a heads up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Maybe do it, we? I don't know if it's wise to just sort of, even if she. Even if something's wrong, she could tell us. Because there was... When I, we last cast Dream with her, it did end with her saying something like... something's ha Like someone's coming or something like that, so... Mm. Read that as you will! Um, uh, DM face. Yeah, poker face. Mark over here. I think can't read my, let's can't just read my. rock up. Let's just rock up in case uh, we send the message and they intercept it and then all of a sudden everyone knows that we're turning up tomorrow. Mm. She'll come with us anyway. She'll love us. Well, unless she's been brainwashed by daddy. Yeah. Daddy. In which case she'll, daddy. she'll, be, coming, she'll be coming back to Rose with us. She just won't like it. But she'll still be coming back with us. <laughs> I actually killed Chris Trot. He's had to leave. Um, he's gone. Got him. <laughs> Got um, him. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. What's wrong with Daddy? What's the plan? Uh, the plan is. It wasn't the Daddy. The I was doing something. I think. You want to cast? You want to cast sending? No, no, I, I want to. No, I'm not sending a message to Valor. Uh, to okay. ease everyone else, I'll say, "Oh yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah." I'll send a message to her. She'll know. I don't want to send a message. That sounds ridiculous. Okay. That sounds that sounds crazy. Um, Do you want to try scrying? But, uh, I or dream. Can't, uh until tomorrow. I again, can scry and dream. Now, I can I can do both. I can scry and dream. I know that. Yep. Scream. That is a way that they can detect Scry. I know there is a way that they can... Uh, Vala has to be asleep for Dream. Uh, so either but or... But that's how I talked to her before. Yeah. Um. Um, but yeah, I am... Um, we're ready to wait. Okay. Well, in that case, you guys take a long rest. Um, Okie dokie. So you may take a long rest. Uh, swap spells out. You might want to do that in the break, though, Quill, because as you drift into sleep, oh, you go. dream. Uh, the dream seems to take on... You find yourself standing in a white and gold, beautiful kind of palace, almost. Um, but laid out in front of you, there is a, uh, uh, a table... Um, with a very rough approximation, not as detailed as your own schematics, but a very rough map of the Tassadar. Uh, there are various small, like, game pieces, like carved game pieces that resemble the Storm Chaser mm -hmm. crew uh, as you appeared in Astral Space when you appeared uh, to the Wings of Ishtar, um, as well as several angelic figures, as well as uh, all sorts of Valkyrian troops, um, including four individuals that definitely stand out um, the figures, uh, the four standing out figures, uh, one appears to be a man with sort of like long red hair, doesn't look like Maximilian, but long red hair and red, red robes, um, with very regal looking features. Um, one is a completely shrouded, like masked, hooded, completely covered in black figure. Uh, one appears to be a woman, sort of long, beautiful silver hair, uh, covered in Magitek. Uh, and then the other one is a pit fiend, which is a giant, uh, sort of like, you know, 12 foot tall, super muscular demon firing. It looks like uh, the Balrog of Morgoth. Um, oh, it does. Okay. Yep. 
Oh, he's uh, just got one of those too. Okay. <laughs> yep. Uh, cool. And there's four of those kind of laid out um, amongst the Valkyrian troops as well. Uh, coalescing into a form around you um, is Zelion. Uh, this beautiful dark-skinned man with this kind of like almost like silver dreadlocks that spill down his back these huge giant wings um just radiating golden light and warmth hello Helek. i uh, am afraid I, that uh, i could not bring the others this is oh this is your communication i see dream right i understand i'm on You're the same familiar page with see, the spell I normally get visions, you see. I didn't know if this was some kind of mystic questioning from Hes... Hes, Hes uh, anyway, um... Uh, hi. <laughs> my apologies. It is nothing of the sort. It is, if you're familiar with the spell Dream, this allows us to communicate. Uh, we have recovered a prototype device, some Magitech that Valkyrian uses that allows the spell to cross planes. Uh, normally the spell is not capable of such a feat, but... We procured a, a prototype of this matter. Wonderful. I'm afraid that we are not sure if we will be able to use it again. As such, this will be a limited communication, and you will need to pass on whatever we discuss to your own team, and you will need to represent them in this meeting, if that is mm -hmm. suitable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Were you successful in uh, acquiring detailed plans of the Tassadar? Uh, we were. Am I able to show them to you? Am I, am I able I'm to do that? I'm afraid not. I'm afraid okay. I am the only one who is capable of creating this dreamscape, and only from what I already know. Uh, I have a rough layout based on other warship designs, but yeah, things can change, uh, especially internally. Uh, it doesn't matter. For the time being, it is most important that you have access to it, and then once we uh, begin our operation, you can provide us with more accurate intel. Okay. Okay. That Excellent. sounds good. We were able to acquire some uniforms as well as keystones, but you should know that we only have, uh, we were only able to acquire rather lower ranked individuals, uh, basic soldiers, uh, basic engineers. They would only have access to the lower decks and the mid decks, but not any of the particular, uh, particularly important areas. Uh, engineering, for example, is only, is restricted to high level engineers only. Uh, the elemental engines, uh, we believe we can gain access to those um, but the lower decks would, and mid decks we will only be able to access with what we have do you believe they would get us through security mid deck security i do not believe so the keystones we've acquired are they are tied to individuals now i believe that with certain disguises and the uniforms we will be able to pass as long as we are not held up to great scrutiny any sort of magical detection any sort of true sight that many of the individuals such as myself or or the powerful fiends or celestials that serve valkyrian they will be able to see through these matters the identification as well if it is carefully examined by even a trained officer it is likely to cause some suspicion we will be able to move through the decks of the ship without much incidents but i do believe that the mid-deck security or, or any sort of security system would be uh, difficult likewise if we are if we encounter any of the high level officers if they have any reason to question us it may cause some issues uh these disguises uh i mean they may work on lucia sailor and nova but aracocra and guardians uh kind of unique to Aroes. I know. If you have any way of acquiring uh, the ability to transform yourself with magic, uh, that may be an option. Uh, there is also invisibility. However, uh, invisibility will only work in certain parts of the Tassadar. The two Magitek lifts, as well as the more uh, important areas, are all equipped with anti-invisibility sensors uh, that will detect if somebody is invisible within. Oh. 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 No. Okay. Uh, good to know. Good to know. The last thing that we should possibly discuss is the Wings of Ishtar. We are happy to assist you. In, we believe that you wanted to rescue someone, uh, this Valor, from Callus' uh, confines. Uh, and we know that we discussed retrieving the Tassadar as well. We believe that retrieving the Tassadar may be a very difficult task. 
Instead, we wish to try and disable or perhaps even destroy the Tassadar. Once you have rescued your friend, we would not, of course, put you or this Valor, this girl, under any sort of danger. But we believe that destroying the Tassadar represents a huge opportunity for those who oppose the Valkyrian Empire. We've identified and acquired some magitech of our own that we believe will detonate the elemental engines that serve as a sort of backup power for the Tassadar. We can plant those and have them detonated on a timer, uh, which we can set for a certain amount of time based on what you think you will need to acquire Valor. It can be a lengthy amount of time if needed, but the greater the length, the more chance of these explosives being discovered. Okay. Um, I mean, we intend to retrieve the Tastar itself, not the ship, but the core the of it. The Eterna. The Eterna. This will um, be difficult. It's something we have to try, and if we get Vala, it may be a lot easier. If we get Vala first, maybe she can lead us there, but... If she, knows, not, know. if she has knowledge of the ship, or if she is trusted by the ship's crew, that may be able to assist you as well. There are some things. Uh, I believe that my team and I, if necessary, we are willing to draw their attention away from sections of the ship. This is a last resort. If we have to activate any sort of combat we would be able to give you perhaps a few minutes at best to escape the Tassadar once we engage in a direct conflict. Uh, we believe that we can perhaps lock down where the elemental engines are secured, forcing them to fight us through choke points. We may be able to give you about 10 minutes of time if this were to, if this were to happen. Okay, well, we hope it doesn't go that way. Uh, Indeed. The rest of it my team... Much better if yeah, the rest of my Please. team managed to get through most of a Zakirian uh, ship uh, without any Impressive. incident and rescued me. So hopefully we can replicate that again this time. But that involved invisibility, so. which is off the table. For the invisibility one. will still be useful to you. As mentioned, it is only certain areas of the ship that are equipped with these sensors. Uh, it still will be a useful tool, um, I think. But just be aware that in uh, anywhere of any sort of strategic or tactical importance, they are equipped with these sensors. Okay. Um, I will oh. also make the point, if any of you have the ability to travel through the ethereal plane, we do not believe the sensors are advanced enough to be able to detect this. Uh, we believe that the ethereal plane may be a way to uh, avoid these sensors, if temporarily. Okay. Okay. Okay, I like that. Uh, ensure, by the way, that you um, have space for one extra on your return trip. We rescued uh, a member of yours, Rana El. Rana El? Rana? Rana. Rana, um, Rana El, yes. Uh, she, is, uh, she became something of an informant, providing us intelligence from within the Empire. My understanding was that she had been killed in a prison break. No, she, well, she was a prisoner until we rescued her from Zarkira. Um, from Zarkira? she very much, yes, she ah, very much likes to come back to the Wings of Ishtar. Yes, and of course, of course. Her intelligence will be incredibly valuable as well. If she's been kept, held captive by Zarkira, this would be of great value to us as well. Well, you'll hear her side of it, I guess, when you meet her. Um, cool. Of course. But I think with this information, when we give you the map, we can put together a effective plan to get straight to Vala, hopefully to the Tassadar to retrieve that, and then to the elemental engines. Excellent. Before we leave We again. will attempt to transport in at the same time. With regards to your timing, I think it may be best, once you have arrived in the Tassadar, you may need to take care of some guards within the, the room that houses the teleportation circle. Send word to us as soon as you are off of the circle itself, and we will transport in directly after you. Okay. Okay, that works. Excellent. Um, Good. Perfect. I look forward to seeing you again. Indeed. Indeed. If we do encounter, there are, and he points to the four figures on the table, 
These are the elite officers aboard the Tassadar. They are all very powerful individuals. I think that uh, even myself, if I were to go against them toe-to-toe, -to -toe, would be a difficult battle. Uh, if you can avoid them, I recommend it. Do you have any indication of where they might be on the ship? I have a feeling that uh, the dragon, he points to the man in red with the red hair, will likely be on the bridge. Ah, uh, the uh, Archmage herself will likely be in the engineering, and he points to the lady with the silver hair. Uh, she is something of their chief engineer. She will be a difficult one to bypass. Uh, like I mentioned, many of these elite officers have the ability to see through illusions or disguises. Uh, they cannot be enchanted. They cannot be mind-controlled. Um, they will be difficult to bypass. The other two, uh, the Pit Fiend in particular, a brutal sort, likely to be found wherever there are soldiers uh, as a disciplinary service. But if an encounter does take place, if they become alerted that there are intruders, I suspect that the Pit Fiend will be the first to arrive to deal with them personally. Finally, this last one, we don't know much about him. We believe him to be a spy of sorts working for Valkyrian incredibly good at blending in, able to change his form that even true sight cannot penetrate. Has the ability to read thoughts, a very difficult foe, um, something of an assassin. So he could be anywhere. Indeed. And could, could even perhaps anyone. replace one of your own. Yes, indeed. Okay. Be well, he's the scariest one. Uh, okay. 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 Well, I believe we can do this, Kilek Adkola. I believe that this is possible. I do not believe that Callus will be expecting this. His defenses are impressive, but there's no way that he should know that we have these this access. If we strike hard, oh. we strike fast, we can do it. Yeah. <laughs> About that. Uh, so when I was captured by Zarkira... A mind what? thing, mind flayer thing, uh, got into my brain and potentially took the codes that we knew about the teleportation circle. I should have led with this. I should have led with this. You watch, he like looks crestfallen. Ah. This is grave news. <laughs> Our only hope is that Zarkira has kept this information from Callus. I. But why would she? Why would she keep this information from him? She will likely tell him as soon as she is aware. When did this happen? How long ago? Uh, maybe a day, two days ago. Um, oh, that is too long, too much time. That is too much the information, time. He, she would have informed him. The information that she received was one that gives him her a massive head start over or strength over uh, Callus. Um, a vision in which. Starbane is basically insane. That his plan just will not work. Um, Zarkira may use this against him, and maybe, hopefully, I shouldn't have See, said he anything. He just sort of like he just sort of nods his head. I mean, you definitely should have. Is that, did Quill say I shouldn't have said anything? Or did Tom Hazel say I shouldn't have said anything? Uh, Tom Hazel. <laughs> okay, okay. This is grave news. Very well. We must commence this tomorrow. We will not have this opportunity again, but I fear that we may be walking straight into a trap. If, so, if Callus knows what we are planning... He will not allow us to escape. But we need to get Valor, and we need to shut down the Tassadar, and this is the only shot we'll have probably ever to do this. Can you make if a we persuasion succeed? check for me, please? Okay, okay. Uh, persuade... Oh, plus one? Huh? If only Lucius were here with his plus Seven. a million. Oh, Seven. good. Goody, good, good. You just feel the dream beginning to fade around you. Our last chance. The dream ends. You finish a long rest. 
And with that finished long rest, Woo! we're going to take a rest by taking a quick five Woo! minute break. No. 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 <laughs> My favorite thing as a DM is putting a player where it's a one or like the player has to say everything themselves. Like you can't have like these meta, like other players jumping in and reminding you of stuff and saying stuff because it really forces players to just talk and then they say things they don't expect. And it leads to great moments. It really does. I love it. I mean, because I could see Kim and Trot like this, like that whole time. They're like, I, oh, I had the, oh, I had portent. Damn it. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, I, I, he was Quill was going to tell them. It's just it slipped my mind. Sure. Um, sure. Yeah, I have a portent of nineteen. By the way, that I could have used on that one. Could have used that for twenty. Could've oh, that would have been really that. Oh, a great roll. That would have been. Yeah, really could have used that. You'll thank me when I anyway, use it in the Tassadar. Five minute break. Well, Let's take a quick break and thank all the lovely messages uh, and donations and subs that we've gotten. I'm sure. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. Uh, man, <laughs> I, my, I particularly liked earlier in the episode. By the way, the. Uh, Almost like the patch notes of like the uh, the Tassadar has been updated. It now has constructs to evade the mind control bullshit no, that happened. Not update, in the no, not patch notes at all. Not patch <laughs> notes at all. Like felt like Callus is a very different person to Zarkira. <laughs> Uh, there's a reason that Zarkira wants to have things that can be mind controlled on her ship, and there's a reason that Callus doesn't want to have things that can be mind controlled on his ship. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Zakira, creepy, that's why. Uh, hey, before I um, continue with today's donations, there is quite a lot to read from two weeks ago. For some reason, Streamlabs uh, goofed and missed out these three very generous donations. Uh, so this is from last episode. Uh, Dino Faceplant, a hundo and 50, got completely missed. Very sorry about that, but I'm going to read it now. Um, Hello, everyone. Greeting fr uh, greetings from Iowa. I I O I O. How do you Iowa. say that? Iowa. Iowa. What? Well, I just sounded so weird in my mouth. Iowa in the U S. <laughs> just wanted to give you this little present. I don't really know what to say, so I'll just say I love you all and how creative all the players are. And once again, Mark, you great man. There you go. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Thank you, Dino Face One, for that very generous donation. Sorry it was missed. Uh, another missed one from that, that Norwegian guy. It was a quarter hundo, which is week three of six of High Rollers' well-deserved compliments. Trot, you may play some of the funniest characters I have ever seen, yet you still manage to have some of the most serious RP in sad moments. I think most players would find such a switch very difficult. I do. Um, <laughs> there you go. That's that's for Trot. Uh, and also, Kayla Mondorian. This is still from last episode. This was a half hundo. Uh, and they say, 110 episodes of this story that has brought laughs, tears, moments so full of suspense that hearts literally have stopped. Thank you all for this amazing story and world you've all created. Thank you very I much. Really hope I really hope hearts haven't literally stopped because of our game. While watching be awful. this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, now, these two donations were before what would have been last week's episode. Um, so, this is a week ago, a hundo from Shploop. Uh, and they say Hi, Crispy introed me to High Rollers DD, and I have been so inspired <laughs> that I DM'd an, adve uh, an adventure from Candlekeep Mysteries yesterday. Uh, we nice. had so much fun. We played for 10 hours. Awesome. I'm learning a lot from watching your streams, and you make my life so much brighter. That's really cool. Also, Lovely. thank you, Crispy, for uh, recommending. Speaking of, we have a half hundo from Crispy. Still last week, I have a lot of donations to catch up on. Um, Crispy with a half hundo. VOD Squad again this week. Missing the live streams and hope that all skies are clear. Love the new merch. How could anyone not like Starbane with that cute pin? Uh, can we have Arvel next? Need my big DILF energy. Okay, that <laughs> donation turned at the end there. Um, but yeah, Starbane pin, very, very cute, very sweet, um, very, very lovely boy. And now we finally get to uh, today <laughs> um, with a donation from Crosshairs. Uh, and they say, 
Yes, finally, I can watch live. My own session got cancelled, so here I am. Uh, after weeks of VOD Squad, liked every second. Uh, clear skies from the Netherlands. Awesome. Thank you very much, Crosshairs. Um, and yeah, welcome to Life Gang for life. Sin Demon with a half hundo. Oh my god, I've just seen the next. Oh my god. Um, Sorry, I saw the next two donations. Uh, I'll wait until everyone is back for this. Uh, the Sin Demon with a half hundo. Been too long since I last watched live. Here's a donation to make up for it. In that time, I've been through uh, some low mental health times getting uh, my uni dissertation done, but catching up with High Rollers VODs really helped me through it all, so thanks. Um, I'm happy to hear you are through it. Yeah, uni dissertation is a bitch, uh, but through that struggle. You've done it. You completed it. Congratulations. Well done, Sin Demon. And thank you very much for the donation as well. Um, is everyone back? I'm back. I'm back. Okay. Uh, I, I don't think everyone yet. Okay. Oh. Uh, I will save these because uh, these are two huge donations. Uh, and oh, God. Uh, oh, very uh, very. Oh, Dork Lord has donated a quarter hundo. Um, first time donation here. Clear Skies in Pennsylvania. So glad to finally be able to support hey. the stream. I found your stream over a year ago towards the beginnings of Erois, and it inspired me to build my own campaign setting. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, thanks for everything you guys do. Let us know what it's like. Let us know yeah. that setting. Um, we'll steal it for season three. <laughs> no, we won't. We won't. <laughs> Excuse um, me. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working my butt off on the next campaign sitting. Fuck you. Uh, I, I believe you. Hey, everyone is back. Um, we had a uh, donation from Newton Dude. Uh, it is a continuation from their previous escalations in donations that I think ended with 200 This one is $800. What? Um, what? Uh, and it says, an energy wave shocks across the universe as a lonely working man hustles at his real job. <laughs> that feels like an attack. I mean, as the weight of his whopping dosh right. is felt rocketing towards the word hole of the rollers, a message is heard. Reward your mamas for birthing you with their hips. What? <laughs> It's Mother's Day in the US today. So. It's Mother's Day in the US. Um, now there is a another donation from Newton Dude, and this is again an escalation uh, from eight hundred to sixteen hundred dollars. Newton, what? Christ. Jesus, what? Are you sure? Are you, what? Coin. you can ref you can refund that. Uh, yeah, you know? because, like you yeah, haven't I mean, got. I hope it, it yeah. is Dogecoin. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> all Doge. Have to do that. What's all. the message, Tom? Do that, dude. I've got the episode. The message for is. You. This message is. This is the true power of Swoly Doni Three. Chris B and Mark's left nut thought they strongest dono, but now Newton strongest. My power is maximum. Real dude. cool. I'm gonna stop being an attention whore for a while. I'm gonna recharge my <laughs> wisms. Tell him I'm sorry. Who? <laughs> I mean, you too. Uh, Newton, you thank so you much. so much. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh my god. But yeah, please do recharge your oh. money. You know, I'm sure that you've had a windfall on Doge at the moment, but you know, please I, don't feel no, you have to give any more. They, they hustle. hustle. They hustle. They are them. the strongest. That's all we need they to are know. the strongest. Yeah. Yeah. I hope you're not hustling too hard for that dude. Like, I also <laughs> I hope, hope it's not blood money. <laughs> yeah. As long as it's clean. Um, yeah. As long as it's clean. Thank you, dude. Uh, Thank you. We appreciate uh, and it. And as long as you're comfortable and happy with uh, the many donations you have given uh, over yeah. the last yeah. couple of weeks as well. Good God. Nuts. Thank you so, so much. Um, That's crazy. I am going to go... Somewhere. I don't know. I'll never tell. <laughs> go have a week. He's going to go call his bank. I'll never tell. Yeah. Kim. I'll never tell. Hello? No, Yo. still can't, Kim. Can't. No. Can't hear you, dude. Okay. Oh, oh, there we go. We've got the no. Oh, the no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. There you go. And now. I'm also, um, I forgot to go grab a drink myself. 
My internet freaked out halfway through the first message, and I missed the most important bit. What the hell just happened? Newton. Uh, Newton There's... donated eight hundred dollars and then sixteen hundred dollars. Yeah. What? Yeah. 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 So they yeah. escalated from like twenty-five to Last... fifty to a hundred to two hundred to four hundred, and all of those by Newton, getting more and more epic. Hey Milo, yep. Milo, you want to go on holiday somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you, Newton. That's cr but Newton is Newton okay? okay. Is Newton? I don't know. Is, this isn't Newton, clearly please, someone bankrupting themselves. They're fine. Tell, <laughs> They're tell, a really good tell place. Tell you're fine. They've, they've been hustling. They've been hustling. With their own words. Have you been? been have you been cryptocurrencying it? Like, is oh, that... yeah, we've we made the Dogecoin <laughs> joke. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Thank you, Newton. Wowzers. That's crazy. But also, I... play your, pay your bills. Pay your bills. <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> Always look after yourselves first. You know, if if you've got cash left over and you want to donate, that's lovely and it's super grateful. We're super grateful and that's wonderful. Look after yourselves first. Please don't donate unless you're in a position that you can afford it. Um, also, because there's other ways to support to, us. If yeah, if you want to support us and get something neat back, then you can always get some merchandise too, and then you get a cool thing buy merch you, you know get, and if you can't if you, you haven't get, got any money you can still support, still support us you can go and like sign yeah. up for D, D beyond via our link you can tell people about the stream you can get a friend to watch it that's massive you know it's massive what else yeah. is massive tell your friends what else is massive chris Our next escalation which oh. is three thousand two hundred dollars <laughs> please don't please right? don't hey mommy milky uh sure is <laughs> um oh. <laughs> so we're all back we're all good all good yes Yay. well you awake the next day in horizon quill awakens having uh had this conversation with zellion in his dream uh yeah what's the plan oh i might have goofed guys oh boy um so i did the right thing and I think it might have been the wrong thing. I told Zellion that Zarkira may know about the teleportation circle. He didn't seem too pleased about that. I tried to convince him it was the last oh, no. strategy it's that we have. Pretty awful oh. news, to be honest, when it occurred in the first place. But yeah, but they need to know. They need to know that there's at risk. I'm sure you told them in the the best way possible, Quill. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, I definitely did. Yeah, I went straight for it. First thing I told him. See, First thing. then there's okay. nothing to worry about. Yeah, he'll appreciate yep. the honesty and, and like, yeah. yeah. Transparency. Yep. At least they can prepare for it. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, anyway, so that's, 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 that's the thing. He, he also told me a lot about their strategy too. Uh, they have a plan to destroy the Tastar, uh, overloading the elemental engines or giving us enough time to do what we need to do. Um, we can decide how long that will be. But they intend to destroy the Tastar. They think that recovering the Tastar Returner itself is next to impossible. It's going to be incredibly difficult to do. But we're going to try. Uh, he also showed me four elite engineers on the Tassadar as well, uh, all of which that can see through invisibility. They have true sight. Um, elite officers. Oh. Not all of them are engineers. Oh, officers, oh. yeah. Um, oh. Okay. Also, there's anti-magic on the elevators themselves. They will break any tele uh, invisibility we have. They have provided uniforms for us to wear, disguises... Uh, low-ranked officer disguises that will get us through particular parts of the ship, but and I mentioned this to him we have a Guardian and an Aarakocra from, exclusively from Erois, so we may need some more disguises uh, than that um, so there's that the four officers we have in question, one is a pit fiend he said it was a pit fiend oh. they're huge uh, kind of got wings, big nice. mouths, terrifying. Uh, okay. 
They have... Okay. Uh, the one that scares me the most is this spy who can disguise as anyone flawlessly. True sight won't identify it. Excuse me? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, let me just write that one down. Okay. So... We need a, a code, like a code word or something that we can say to each other to keep confirming our identities, right? A word that only we know. We need a chain of code words. Yeah. I think. So if anybody's infiltrated, well, guys they won't cut it. Code. No. Uh, Smart. We should also was, not make it obvious, yeah. put it into normal conversation, perhaps. Secret mm -hmm. base. That's the code word. <laughs> How'd they know we'd be so willing to share? And was that Quill saying that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, either way, if we encounter any of them, they'll be able to see us immediately. They, they probably know who we are. Um, but... We need to find a way to A, find Vala, and B, uh, get straight to the Tassadar. The eye has recharged. Would, um, oh. I can use the eye again. What, what, what were the other two officers? Um, how scary are they? Oh, they're all terrifying. Uh, there's an Archmage, <clears throat> most likely to be found in Engineering. Oh, okay. And... Uh, was it a dragon born? The other one? I just I just wrote down dragon. No, okay. A dra a dragon. It's, it's the latter one. Yeah. A dragon. Uh. Could you repeat yeah? that for me, Quill? Um, I had a high ringing in my ears. Um, could you just say that one again? I said dragon. I said dra I said dra I said it was a it was a, a, dra a dragon. We had dragon. Okay, the ringing is. To be fair. Still in my ears. Yep. Dragon. The ringing is still there. It's a dragon. Um, yep. Yep. No, no, no. I, I think the ringing is the manifestation of my anxiety because you just said the word dragon. Yes, but most likely on the bridge where hopefully Valet isn't. Um, so there's that. Uh, the spy itself, though, I have no idea where on the ship they might be. They could be anywhere. And anyone. We could also exclusively communicate over our uh, messenger rings. They wouldn't have I can't. That. I don't know. I can't. I, I'm One sorry. Does... Yeah. Not me. I, I don't have the mental capability to hold all of these magic items in my brain. I don't know how to roleplay the idea that I don't have the slots. <laughs> It's not necessarily slots. It's like um, your body just can't be attuned to that many powerful, like magical relics. Like that's too much. Like you're you're kind of connecting a piece of your soul to them, so mm. you just you can't. Yeah, it's just like you physically just can't be bonded to more than three things. Yeah. Uh, either way, it's okay to I'm just messing. use like I'm attuned to too many items. You don't need to try and role play yeah. a phrase. You can just say I'm attuned to too many magical items. That can be an in-universe term. Hmm. Uh, but the first thing is, is that once we arrive, we need to clear the teleportation circle of any guards and immediately step off the circle. Um, the moment I send them a message, they will arrive, hopefully, uh, the moment we get off the circle. That's step one. Okay. Step two. With our uniforms, we'll be able to get through the lower decks and the crew quarters. Maybe. Hopefully. And hopefully not identify anyone. That's step two. Here's 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 a thing. What if at step one they know we're coming in and we get ambushed and it's a trap? I mean we've What's that done... step? Bamf back to a row straight away? I suppose. I got the wayfinder. What if we going. get there and there's fucking three Zarkiras just Hi. Then you know? Wavefinder's Guide. Straight back to the. Can... Straight back to Horizon. 
instantly. I can get us out of there immediately. Perhaps. Pretty much. If we stand in a formation where we all surround Quill, so Quill is protected in between us, um, and then he can focus on that if we need to go back. Good idea. Also, I have a spell that might be able to just bypass invisibility and all of these other things entirely and take us into the ethereal plane to traverse this ship. Can you take everyone? I believe, I believe it's only yourself, Quill. Kim, you've got uh, it. I think spell. the warlock it... one, the warlock one is locked to me only. Um, but I don't know if that's different for warlocks than to other. Um, don't believe classes. so. No, I believe it's the same spell. Yep, it's a self. It's only yourself, Quill. So you and Nova at, could do it on like yourselves. At, uh, but... at higher levels, I can target oh, three true. other people. At eighth level, yeah. Oh, no, three total people, um, yep. including you. So two other people yeah. and then you. Yeah. That's 8th level. Do you have an 8th level spell slot? I think you do now, I don't do. you? Yeah. yeah. So, you um, do, okay. so you can do up to 3. So I could do me and Sentry, and that would bypass, at the very least, and that would bypass uh, Disguises. So that's uh, my information. True sight, individuals with True Sight would still be able to see you. I believe they can see into the Ethereal Plane. But things like the anti-invisibility sensors wouldn't trigger. So if you came across those big 4... Or like any other powerful devil or fiend, they'll probably be able to still see you. Yeah, but we can just slip through a wall. Yeah, I mean, you, it will certainly help for being stealthy, for sure. Mm. Okay. Um, so that's 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 uh, that's Zellian's information. Don't think I've missed anything. Uh, anything? Anything else? Anyone else got any bad ideas? Because I'm full of them. Cool. In that case, let's go. <laughs> it's a very different vibe to when you went and rescued Quill. I'm getting the sensation it's uh, it's a it's a bit more of a pessimistic vibe. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so uh, you guys grab. Uh, you wanted to. So Helios will definitely come. Raniel will come with you. Moonstar will come with you if you wanna if you ask. So you gather up those guys. Uh, Helios. I don't know if you have. Uh, Helios equipped sentry is like a cloak, but generally he will always take the cloak form if you're around. Yeah. Okay. Nice. He's ready to go. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyone else? Anyone else? Put your hand up. It's like an open auction now for ideas, and I'm buying all of them. Um... I know everyone's nervous, but we have to do this. Um, I think we all trust each other, and it's scary. We are going to the heart of darkness, but we've got each other's backs. I believe we can do this. Whether or not we can do supplementary things like rescuing Tassadar, who knows? We can cross that when we come to it. But keep calm. Stick together, trust each other, and I think we can come out of it. Worst comes to worst, we escape. Worst comes to worst, we use the Wayfarer's Guide and we leave as soon as we can. Um, and if, if we can't get Valor in that, well, our safety is paramount. Um, yeah. And what about the Tassadar? If we can't get That's... the Tassadar... The we wings. can't get the Tassadar. The wings are on it. That's their plan. They want to take down the ship. Our our mission I'm... specifically is Vala. Anything on top of Vala is a bonus. If we don't have time, we don't have time. We need to get her and get out. And make sure it's her as well. Like, anyone could be anyone on that ship. We could run into Starbane and it might not be Starbane. What if True. we picked I... up the wrong quill on Zarkira's ship? Nah, I got you. <laughs> no, it's me. Uh, so I wasn't asking necessarily what if we can or cannot recover Tassadar. I'm asking if we get back and the wings are still there to destroy Tassadar. Are you okay with this? Well, 
you might just have to message them. You might just have to keep in communication with them. We can't really do much else. We're from different places. They have their escape, we have our escape. We just need to tell them. Did they say they mean... had an escape plan? Uh, well, they will do, but I hope they will. Um, they just have their objective, and it's the Ethereum engines. Um, elemental engines, I mean. We have Ethereum, that's our thing. Yep. Um, okay. Okay. Everyone, there... hands in the middle. Storm chaser. Yeah. Oh, the phrase! Uh, the phrase! How about, if worse comes to worse? If worse comes to worse, what? That's the, the phrase. The secret phrase, so that we don't get infiltrated by invisible spy starbane people. If, if the okay. worst comes to the worst... If the worst comes will, to the worst... I will try erase if worst comes to worst out of my vocabulary, just to say it at very specific times now. Yes. I don't think you've said it very much, Quill. Although, considering Should this Should we not just mission, use pineapple again? Pineapple it, was obvious. It needs easy. to not stand out. I think someone that's extremely adept at blending and being someone else is going to notice. I could really go for some pineapple right now. <laughs> yeah, Smooth. if worst comes to worst, we'll say pineapple. Wait, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Rana is looking around, <laughs> sort of, <clears throat> you know, she stood there with Moonstar. Uh, Helios is nice and quiet, draped over sentry shoulders, a big lion cape. Um, Moonstar just kind of looks at Rani and shakes her head like, just, just, you don't need to say anything. Just let them let them have a conversation. <laughs> cool. Um, all right, if worst comes to worst. I like that. I that think, sounds good. Uh, Rana Yell, by the way, uh, has equipped, has outfitted herself. Um, she's probably been given some stuff by uh, probably Horizon. So she has like a, a you know a suit of breastplate and a big sword. She's got like a great handed uh, two handed sword with her um, that she's carrying. Um, Moonstar has all of her usual tricks and gimmicks. She's got a bunch of tech and stuff that she's bringing with her. Uh, cool. And then are you guys going to go to? Are you going to use one of the teleportation circles in Horizon? Are you going to where do you want to you know teleport from? Mm. Horizon's Horizon, closest. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's a free, free so, spell that we don't have to spend. Okay. Well, you do have to spend. One of you will have to cast the spell. Yeah. Damn it. I um, pass you on that one. Mm, nope. Should we hold an action to prepare to subdue any guards um, when we get there? Yeah. Well, I'll ask yeah. you that, like, yeah, so you guys find yourselves, you go to the teleportation circle of Horizon, I think that Danica would have had it cleared out, you guys have the place to yourselves, like, they have guards stationed to prevent anybody coming in to see what you're doing, um, and yeah, you, uh, Quill, you spend some time working with one of the Magisters there to set out the new rune sequence for this kind of upgraded teleportation circle that you need to use uh, to get to the Tassadar. Uh, everybody gathers together. You stand in a circle. You said that you wanted to have Quill in the middle, so Quill and Moonstar will probably be in the center, and then everybody else kind of forms a ring around them. Um, okay. Moonstar's kind of the actually one of the squishiest ones going with you. Uh, and yeah, uh, you're going to cast a spell. So at this point, I'm going to guess, yeah, like everybody who's not Quill, Quill won't be able to hold an action because he needs to cast a spell. What readied actions do you want to take here? Um... I hate him. <laughs> yeah, so keep in mind that, like, you won't be able to move. It's a single action you can hold. So it's like, if there's a guard in front of me, I whack him. That's fine. Or I throw the hammer. That's an action. But you won't be able to, like, I'm going to charge at the nearest one I see. That would the, your, your action would be the movement then. So have a think about what you want to do. Okay. I think Lucius is going to lightning lure anybody that is out of range of melee and... Put his hand over their mouth. Okay. All right. Sounds good. So you can try and lightning lure a guard and then try and silence them, basically, and stop them speaking out. Sounds good. Anybody else? Ready to actions. Um, yeah, I think Sentry would um, go to reach for, like, a mouth or something to keep them quiet. Just grab through. a guard as soon as you can see Yeah, them. just grab a guard, yeah. Okay. 
Sure. Yeah, probably grab actually instead of like try and do the same quiet. Okay. Grab. Yeah, Rana, Raniel will basically take the same stance as uh, you guys then. Uh, if that's what you guys are planning to do, she'll try and do the same. Moonstar readies like a little gadget. She readies like a little bomb that she's uh, she's got one of her gizmos. Uh, Nova. Um, I will assist um, anyone trying. I, I think I'm just going to assist because all of my spells are big and noisy. Um, so I will I will assist someone in restraint. I will assess uh, assi the. Pfft, I will assist Rana in um, okay. subduing grabbing the guard. someone. Okay, sounds grabbing good. Grabbing someone. Quill, you get everybody. Uh, you begin the incantation, the sort of mixture of prayer and spell, uh, kind of lighting up the rune sequences around you, kind of one one rune, one next rune, as they kind of go around in sequential sequence, locking each one in place. And then as they all complete, you will feel that familiar sensation of that immediate rushing uh kind of energy that kind of being pulled out of your body at a rapid rate you feel the world kind of pulling and breaking apart around you and then when your consciousness snaps back to there is a, a kind of like a, a painful sensation as if you're pulling yourself through something that you shouldn't uh there's almost like a it feels like parts of your body is almost being ripped or torn at um but when you arrive whoosh, you find yourselves in a decent sized large black crystal chamber metal has been plated uh, uh, along the floor and the ceiling and you can see that there are these large kind of crystal tubes that contain this glowing purple energy that seems to be funneling down into the floor you stand on a similar runic circle that you have seen before that serves as a teleportation circle and there are in fact other beings in this room there appears to be one of them uh, is stood by a console about sort of 10 15 feet away and he's like you know analyzing the console the other two appear to be guards who are at the doorway looking in but they're about a sort of good 25 30 feet uh, out of reach of the circle itself um they are there is definitely a moment of surprise as the kind of flash of magic seems to completely take them by surprise uh readied actions uh, unfortunately for century ada and raniel there is nobody within like five feet to grab immediately um these guards are at the other end and kind of turning and you can see them bringing up like weapons uh, as they do. The one who's at the, the console is kind of looking around wide-eyed. Uh, the one at the console appears to be a kind of um, a darker-skinned elf uh, with sort of like grayish hair. Uh, looks similar to the drow that you met in um, Azagrat, but is wearing a Valkyrian uniform. The other two appear to be humanoid creatures of some form, you know, orcs or hobgoblins, that sort of thing. Uh, Lucius, you're the only one whose ready in action can actually go off. Um, this one at the console is the only one within range, so lightning lure goes off. What do I need to do? Uh, strength saving throw of 18. Strength saving throw. Uh, okay. like quadruple disadvantage. Yeah. I don't think that's true, is it? No, I, I read it too. lied to me there. I read it too. Yeah. That is going to be a 17. I lure him with my lightning. Oh, oh is it DC 18, yeah? Yeah. Nice. Uh, so a lightning lure goes off. So you, you, the lightning lure hits them. What's the actual effect on it? What does it say? They pull 10 feet in a straight line towards me and then take 1d8 <sighs> lightning damage. Okay, roll me the damage then. All righty. I'll just roll a d8. Here it comes. Also, if it's, it's um, actually no, it three. should be higher than a D8 because you're a high level spellcaster. Remember, all your cantrips do increase damage as you go up in level. Yeah, it should be uh, three D8. Four D8. Oh no, I'm not seventeenth level. Three D8. <laughs> Two more. Three D8. I feel like I am. So what was the total drop? Just rolling the other two. So three so far. Fourteen. Oh, that's right. You're doing it in the game log. There we go. Uh, so fourteen. So 14 lightning damage. Uh, yeah. So the guard, like this lightning kind of runs through this uh, this drow's body as you yank them towards you. And then you said you wanted to try and restrain them, right? Yeah. Um, stop them from vocally exclaiming that they've just been lightning lured. Yeah. And Sure. Make a, uh, make a strength check for me then. Yeah. Probably the strongest on the team. So it's probably fine. That's a five. 
So fine. <laughs> so you try and like grab their mouth, but they do manage to kind of sell uh, as they're kind of being pulled in, they twist their body, kind of almost planting their shoulder into yours, which kind of throws you back for a second and you don't quite manage to get the thing. Yes, Tom. Are they within five feet of anyone else who would have had that readied action? So here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? All of the held actions technically go off at the same time. So the okay. time that the others would try and grab somebody is the time that the lightning lure is going off. So the 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 kind of queued up, it's not like now Ayla gets to try, now Sentry gets right. to try, now Rana gets to try. It doesn't work that way. It's like everything goes that off at sense. once. However, the lightning lure pulls this guy who is now within five feet of the whole party, and then the two are on are about thirty feet away from the doorway. That's the point where we're going to roll initiative. Um, okay. As you guys basically, yeah, basically had that that held action, and you might even, I'd say, might even get a surprise round here because uh, I think I'm gonna. Give them, uh, <gasps> I love surprises. Oh. <laughs> I rolled a natural okay. twenty. <laughs> That's a waste. No. Very good. So we got fifteen for Quill. Is that? Uh, it is. 15 for Lucius as well. Mm -hmm. You, little initiative buddies. Uh, so, Nova, what was your total? You said you got a natural 20, but what was the total? 23. 23. 23. Sentry? 8. <laughs> 8. <laughs> Ayla? I got 14 and I had advantage. God damn. 14 you had advantage. Uh, yeah. I've actually just realized... I need to add uh, running at L. So you might need to repeat those to me in a second because I need to add. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I love how we had two days of planning and Sentry is still like, whoa, teleported. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. <laughs> it's like Bill and Ted's uh, most excellent adventure over it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this. Uh, so I know that Lucius was 15, Quill was 15, Ayla was 14, you said, right, Ayla? Yep. Uh, Sentry was 8, and then Nova's at 23. Okay. So Nova, you are indeed the first to react out. Uh, you are the first to react. Um, um, you are all kind of stood in a circle yeah. around Quill and Moonstar. Uh, there is one drow captain, uh, the drow ca house captain is right in front of you, and then there are two guards uh, about 30 feet in front of you by the door which leads out of this this chamber. Um, I'm gonna... <sighs> Spell slots, man. Um, I'm gonna... Sword clean... slots. I'm gonna attack sword slots. Uh, I'm gonna go and attack um, the drow guy stand... Uh, he got pulled towards Lucius, though, right? He is basically next uh, to Lucius at this point. So next to Lucius. Uh, yeah, I'd say that basically this 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 drow is within five feet of all of you. The other two are about thirty feet away. Okay, um, I'm gonna help Lucius with this guy. I'm gonna um, uh, attack with Tiangong and okay. Green Flame Blade. Oh, I said it without. Okay. It up. That's interesting. Uh, I rolled uh, 11 plus 12 is 23 to hit. That will hit. Um, Can't parry it. I rolled 8. Oh my god. So that's um, eight, 15 points of uh, Tiang Gong damage and mm -hmm. uh, 2d8 to this guy, uh, which is 6. 10 points of flame damage uh, to him, and I'm guessing there's mm -hmm. no one else within uh, five feet. So, yeah, the Not other within five feet, no, the others are too far away. Yeah, so, but, uh, you know, Tiangong swipes through the air, kind of igniting with this kind of bluish green flame. <laughs> uh, you, This guy's like, ah, ah, and you can see he's like, you know, in the slow mo, it's just like, sound the alarm you know as this all this battle is raging around you can see that he's desperately uh trying to command the others to to do something uh anything else nova or is it just the one attack uh that's all i've got at the, um, but uh but i can't remember how to do anything nope that's all i've got that's murder she wrote next all right lucius um now that i'm in melee range i'm a bit of a pickle uh you're the one that lured him over to you. I know. Um, which one's saying sound the alarm? The one that I've got subdued. I mean, yeah, but all of the guards are aware that, you know, you're being attacked right now. The other two definitely, they're at the door as well. Like, they could probably, you know, rush out if they needed to. 
Right. I will try and I guess it would be a disadvantage having someone in melee range if I attack someone else. It depends on what spell. It depends on what you do. Some but, some spells won't. Like if it's a spell that uses a saving throw, it doesn't matter if they're next to you or not. All right. I'm going to try and if lightning an lure roll. another. Shove this one oh, so onto one of, like What's uh, the range on lightning lure? What's the range on lightning lure? 15 feet. They are 30 feet away. Made them I up. mentioned that. Yeah, you did. Uh, right. In which case, I'm going to push this guy onto Ayla. As my first. Okay. Can I do that as a bonus action? I mean, you don't even need to push him. I said, like, this guy's within five feet of everybody. Like, everybody's within five feet of I this want guy him that off you of me. over to. Um, yeah, he's not on you. He's, like, next to you. Uh, if you want to try and push him so he's five feet away from you, that's an action. That's like an attack roll, basically. You have to make a kind of strength check against him to push him five feet away from you. Okay, I'm it's going right. to... I'm within five feet of him. Yeah, yeah. It's it's more... It's fine. I'm going to Chromatic Orb at level four. I'm going to spend my sorcery points. This advantage. This is what... <laughs> I oh, you're going to sorcery point. I forget that you've got the sorcery point thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, I was going to twin it, but I'm going to have to use it to uh, automatically succeed uh, the careful spell. Cool. Uh, so I'll do that. And Hang, I'm on. Just gonna... Hang on. Try, 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 try. Hang on a minute. So what? you're casting chromatic orb. You're using careful spell on who? Up to five. Oh, never mind. That, yeah, that's for allies. I was trying to do it to... Yeah. Uh, automatically succeed on hitting, which I can't do. No, <laughs> that's not how it works. I'm in a state. <laughs> it's an attack Mark, roll. Uh, I know, give me some, I know, I know you uh, are. And just remember, if to... it's, so what I'm trying to say is that if he's next to you, you have disadvantage on attack rolls on spells. Yeah, so this is what I was trying to shove him away from me. Throw, yeah, so, but if you use a spell that requires a saving throw, it doesn't matter if he's next to you. Or you could try and push him away. I said you can push him away I with a strength I just want check, to chromatic orb twin the two people that are furthest away right. likely to alert other people is what I'm trying cool. to do so without this guy step. impeding me, So, which I can't yeah. really do. Uh, no. All right. Casting. I don't think it comes up. We'll see. Uh, I'm not, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's not cool. coming up for me. Uh, yeah, I can't see it. All right, here we go. 23. Oh, that's the I'll first one, remember? First uh, one? Yeah, that's disadvantage, though, remember? So each one's disadvantage. 21, a disadvantage. Okay, so the first one hits the first person, and then two more for the second one. Right. I mean, with a plus 10. Right, you can still Pretty miss. Good. 27. It's coming through. And 25. And that's pretty good. Yeah, so both of them awesome. still hit. Even though this guy is kind of impeding you. Uh, the chromatic orb whoosh, strikes both. Oops. 68. This isn't the, the first I know. one. Uh, it's just one it's damage roll. Spells? So you roll, roll one damage roll for both targets. 23 of acid. 23 acid both. damage to both targets. Okay. Uh, they do not have resistance to acid damage. So both of the ones by the door, these globes of acid fly out, splitting into two. It strikes them both. You can see that, like, ah, like their armor is, like, being burnt away. They're, like, hissing from the pain, but they are still standing. You know, these are, you know, fairly sturdy-looking guards. Um, the orb strikes them. Uh, anything else? Um, no, there's nothing else I can really do. That's me. Okay. Uh, Quill. Uh, cool. I want to remind everyone to clear the circle. Because uh, I'm in the middle, I guess I'm not within five feet of this dude, right? No, because you're in the middle. Yeah, exactly. Probably... You've got people between you. Cool. Yeah. I want to, yeah, I want to uh, move out of the teleportation circle and I want to cast Calm Emotions on the people 30 feet away. Uh, it's a okay. 60 foot range, so I'll definitely hit them in a 20 foot radius, so they'll definitely be hit. They need to make. A saving throw of charisma. Twenty-one. Charisma saving throw. Uh, yeah. Okay. It can choose to fail it if it wants. 
All right, charisma saving throw. Uh, I can do this on here, actually. Uh, so the first one, one is going to be a three and Hell a three. Yeah. Two natural ones in a row. Hell yeah. Uh, excellent. Uh, What's the effect? They are, in, they are indifferent uh, about creatures of my choice. So I want to say all of us. Now, Zellion's not here. Can I no. prescribe them to be also indifferent? Too? I, I... Alternatively, you can make a target indifferent about creatures of your choice that it is hostile towards. So, no, because Zellion is not here. It is not aware to be hostile towards Zellion, but it, you can make it indifferent to everyone present. I will make a note that the indifference ends if the target is attacked or harmed by a spell, or if it witnesses any of its friends being harmed. Um... Okay. Um, all right. In that case, what I'll say is actually clear the circle. Do not hurt anyone else. Restrain that guy. Those guys are chill. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I'll uh, zoo off the um, teleportation circle after doing that spell. Concentration of a minute. Uh, okay. Uh, so with that in mind, now that you've shouted that out, Raniel will try Snap and grapple... Out the guard well you said it not shouted it i suppose raniel will try and grapple the house guard uh so that's no, it's, it's, it sounded like you said i shat that out <laughs> i shat that out so raniel tries to grab emotion. this uh drow that's like within range of everybody she tries to grab him and like wrap her arms around him to do a bit but he manages to writhely and like nimbly kind of pull himself free um and he's beginning to kind of call out like you fools quickly cut get, get the others get to the console raise the alarm we're being attacked um but yeah because uh you, she you said not to attack her rats or raniel raniel can really do um she can't really do much else uh yep ayla so she didn't manage to get him then. Can nope. I try and put my hand over his mouth and just hold on to him so he can't get away from yeah, me? Yeah, so this it's the same thing. You've got to make a grapple attempt. Uh, so it's strength versus his dex. Okay. That is a 11 plus 7, 18. 18. Let's see what he rolls. Okay, Not so you managed to get him, you've sorry. grappled him, and then as a as a part of that grapple, you can basically put your hand over his mouth and try and grab him. Um, yeah, and he is restrained, he's grappled, so his speed is zero. He can still do stuff, um, like he can still try and like kick and fight back and break free, uh, but you're, sure. you're kind of covering his mouth from speaking at this point. Can I um, move both of us off the circle? Yes, you can. You can move half speed, so you can drag him about 20 feet to the side of the room, kind of dragging him with you. And I will say, get the others inside and away from that console. And that will be me, just holding on to this card. Okay, yeah, you just keep keep him pressed down. Uh, okay. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Moonstar on her turn. Uh, will, because this guy's still fighting against you, Ayla, he's, like, trying to, like, break free and stuff. Um, Moonstar turns to you, Quill. When you said, don't attack them, do, is it just harm them? Is it, what, how is this spell, what can I do? If I try and no knock harming. him out with a gas? Uh, as long as it doesn't hurt him. She'll or attack kind of shrug him. and, yeah, She's going to, uh, like, pull out, like, so while you've got him held, Ayla, she's going to kind of waft this kind of uh, orb that she has. She cracks it open and begins this this heavy kind of, like, gaseous thing. Uh, you're an elf, so you can't be put to sleep by this. In fact, no, she wouldn't try that because he's a drow. She would know that as well. He can't be magically put to sleep. So she will just try and assist Ayla then and try and tie him up. She's going to try and start, like, trying to, like, bind his legs with, like, um, like ropes and things like that, um, trying not to harm him. So... Yeah, Moonstar's smart enough that she wouldn't try and do that. Huh. These two guards, they are indifferent to all of you, um, but you are still manhandling their friend. You're not attacking him, uh, so they'll hey. kind of just look at each other. Hey, what are you doing? You shouldn't be doing that. Uh, the, the, you're going to get in trouble if you keep manhandling the captain that way, or the lieutenant that way. What are you doing here? You shouldn't be here. 
Uh, we're just doing a training exercise. <laughs> make a deception check for me, Ayla. Make a deception Shit. check for me. <laughs> uh, oh, what have I got on deception? It's good. Ooh, <laughs> uh, uh, 13. 13? Okay. Well, let's, let's find out. Uh, wisdom. 13. Come on. That's ridiculous. We don't we don't bring in outsiders for training exercises. Listen, you're, you do when we're just trying to warn you. Do you do when they've got outside skills that you need to, you know, learn about. Lady, we've already we know that you're talking shit. Like, we know that that's a load of crap, but seriously, you're going to be in trouble if you if when he gets free, he's going to be pissed or like when the others come to replace us, man, you're going to be in so much trouble. I'm trying to think of how these guys would act because they're indifferent. Yeah, I right? mean, they're, I guess they can't they, at any they, point be hostile, but they're also like... No, they're not hostile, hey, but they're hey, also not friendly. Stop it. They're not going to... Yeah. yeah, they're just like, what are you doing? Like, it's ridiculous. Uh, the the house captain is going to try and break free um, of Alyssa. Can you make another strength check for me? Okay. Uh, I mean, Muted, he's got arms for days. I was counting. I was silently <laughs> counting. Sorry, 19. That's fine. Uh, so you managed to hold him like he's kind of like wriggling around you. I think the only thing he can do... Uh, <laughs> Sleep now. <laughs> nope, can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Man, this guy's... Yeah, he's... Uh, uh, yeah, he, he can't speak, so he can't give verbal commands. Um... Yep. Uh, he's just kind of like struggling around, uh, unable to really gonna break free. going to have to try it's a entry. bit harder than that. How are you ever going to deal with the intruders if you can't beat me? <laughs> <laughs> is, is there a door in this room? I'm assuming. Is there a door? There's a door leading no. the big two other guards are guarding the exit out of this place. It's four Can walls. I? Why did we teleport it's four here? Four walls is a box. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a box you what? can't get in or get out of. Um, <laughs> can I can I cast enlarge and walk over to the door and just block that entrance point? Just be big and in the way. <sighs> the guards are indifferent. So they're stood by the door. Yeah. So you enlarge yourself. The, everyone's kind of like taken back by it. You move up. And they're like, well, they, the two guards are like, we're well, not going to fit in there. You're not going to fit through there now. Uh, and they kind of point down uh, at the door. But, and then you just kind of like, <laughs> what? You just like sit in front of the door or just stand in yeah, front I of just, it? Like half like, crouched? Keep watch. Yeah, make sure that no yeah. one can get in or out while we're here. They're just like looking at you like, well, what if there's an emergency? What if there's a fire? We're not going to be able to get out of here. Look, you need to, I don't know what you're all doing here, but you, you need to leave. You're not supposed to be here. Oh, we're, we're, we're working on it. Don't worry. Okay. Nova. <laughs> uh, I'm going to also mark. Get off the teleportation <laughs> pad. And um, I want to go over to the console. Um, yeah. Can I, given like our experience, can I read the console? Or is it in. I don't know, yeah, I'm this is basically it. like a Magitech console that activates the teleportation circle. So it's a way that, you know, when it's kind of like a. You know, you, you, you know your Star Trek, Kim. So this is like your transporter, right? Like this is what controls the teleportation circle. There's also like, yeah, there is like a basic readout of like, you know, a data terminal of, you know, reports about things going on. There's a, a, an alarm system built into it that somebody could trigger to raise the alarm. Um, can I lock the door? Uh, um, yeah, you could lock the door there. from from the console. Yeah, I'd say that you can. Um, I'll, I'll lock the door. Pretty much, like, door it's then. an action it's to do anything I... on this console, right? Because you're like trying to figure it yeah. out. So you're like, okay, hang on, I need to do this system, and then uh, mm. I think this. So that's taking up your time of like kind of like playing around with the magic tech, yeah. right? So yeah, you can use an action to lock the door. Um, hey, you're not supposed to be touching phone? that. Get up. Come on, you guys need to leave. <laughs> What are you doing here? Like, you're this not, is part of the drill. Routine this is part of the drill. Don't do. worry about it. I'm yeah. I'm just running some subroutines. No, I'm clearing the cache. It's guys fine. Messing around. Mm -hmm. Practice this is well. a drill. It's we fine. know it's not a drill. Um, <laughs> so I'll lock the door. Uh, you, you lock the door. Can I? Yep. 
Can I bonus action, like, I don't know, try and see where people are on the ship? I don't know if that's available from Transporter Bay. Not from this console, Should no. be, because yeah, you might need yeah. to lock on people, but no. Okay. No, because <laughs> it it's, it's not a transporter from Star Trek, Kim. It's, you know, I I'm know! Just it I just wanted sense, to live but... my fantasy! I know. Well, <laughs> um, there's Star Trek RPGs out there. But no, this is like, uh, this controls this teleportation circle, so like, you know, yeah. if people stood on it, it could activate it. Uh, and then it's mm -hmm. got an alarm. You can see there's like a data readout, but it's things like 900 hours, you know, training regime in, in this part of the ship or like, you know, shift change coming Look, up see, in three hours. See, it says training regime. <laughs> it says yeah, training no, regime here. That's on the other side of the, the ship. That's not here. And they're just arguing with you. Like, they're just <laughs> arguing. They're like, they're not hostile. They're not friendly. They're just like, what? what? No. Uh, all right, Lucius. <laughs> I don't really know what to do at this point, uh, other than ask them politely if they could sit down <laughs> and not do anything. So what, the uh, two guards who are currently indifferent, you just, yeah, you can make a persuasion check, you just be like... Well, at least, like, yeah, encourage yeah. them. Well, we've all got time to warn the others, but in the meantime, you must be really tired. Uh, feel free to sit down over here. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> That's a uh, 19. 19. I think, like, yeah, these guys are indifferent. They kind of look at each other like, well, I mean, they're clearly, like, I don't know what you're doing with the, I don't know what you're doing with the lieutenant, but, I mean, they're here. We can't stop. We're not, we're not going to stop them. Yeah, you're right, I suppose. Yeah, I guess we could just, <laughs> yeah. And they just kind of go over and they, they just sit down and they're just like, well, I guess maybe they don't sit down. They kind of just like lean up against the wall. They clear, like they, they start relaxing. They kind of, you know, move away from the door and, you know, maybe they start having a conversation. One of them pulls out like a little crystal crystal tablet and is like tapping away and doing some paperwork or something that he has to do. Um, Can I just spend my just bonus relaxing. action and movement just chatting to them? It's like, how is yeah. Callus today anyway? Oh, well, the Emperor. I mean, we don't... Eh, People, guards like us, we're not really involved with the Emperor's business. The Emperor's, uh, well, he keeps jumping between Arois and here, and uh, oh, he's well, left we the other officers a, in charge. A meeting? Is he not on the Tassadar? That's the reason we're here. Oh, you're, you, no, no, you're not here for a meeting. We'd know about that if there were. You're right, sorry. Of course he's not here. You joker. Look at you. What are you doing? <laughs> what, are you guys, what are you guys doing here? And it's just, they're just, yeah, right, Quill. <laughs> Fuck's sake, this fucking spell. I need to oh, figure yeah. out, like, how, what indifferent actually means. I think exactly what you're doing. Um, yeah, I think it is, but <laughs> I'm just sort of like, man. Hey, what about, what about, what about Vala, though? Hey, where does Starbane keep Vala? Who's that? Who's that? Come on. Starbane's daughter. Yeah, who's, who is must that? Know. I that know. comes to this ship all the time. Uh, probably on this ship. You don't know about her? Okay. I don't know who you think we are, guy, bird, man. We're we're I guards. Think... We guard the teleportation circle. Sometimes we guard the hangar bay. We sometimes go down into the in elemental engines. We don't really do a lot. The captain might like the, they point that sorry, the lieutenant might know. The lieutenant's a bit more informed. He spends time with the other officers. Maybe they've heard of this Valor. I don't know who that is. Oh, uh, okay. We don't go yeah, if, if there's somebody who's up on the upper decks, we don't go up there. Can you, like, uncover this guy's mouth real quick? Where's Vala? No, I'm not going to do right, that. That's what Quill says. Uh, Rana <laughs> kind of looks around. Uh, well, I think that uh, Miss Ayla has this under control. I don't I don't really know what else should we be doing here. I don't want to Where's disrupt friends, Quill? Helix spell. Uh, she'll move oh, off the teleportation off the... circle. Yeah, yeah she, she moves off. Lucius she'll need to off. move off. Uh, Ayla. I'm gonna continue to just hold on to this this guard for now, because if I let go, he's gonna do stuff. So yeah, and the thing yeah. is, is the spell's wording is if the attack is t attacked or harmed, and I don't think harmed. I wouldn't personally count a grapple as either of those things. You could maybe argue it's that a grapple a, is being it's attacked. It's just a hug that he doesn't really necessarily him. want well, at the moment. That's not true, right? <laughs> but it is, you're not harming him. So yeah, as long as you don't try and damage this guy, if you're just trying to keep him like held and stop him from speaking, I'm going to say that that's, yeah, you can keep doing that. All right. Uh, Moonstar will step off the platform uh, and just kind of 
looks around. I think at this point she would probably take her mask off because she doesn't need to wear it here. So she kind of takes her mask off and like puts it away and it's just like, I don't know what else we should be doing here. I I don't know if Ayla can, I don't think Ayla can keep this person held forever. They might, they can, no, they, if they, if I get one really angry, up, I could. Don't worry. Oh, well, I just, I, I feel like we should do something and she kind of nods her head towards the other two. The other two are just like, why is she nodding her head at us? What are you think? What, what are you, what are you planning? <laughs> are you, guys, you don't think that you can, you don't think that you can do anything aboard the Tassadar, do you? This is, this is the Valkyrian Empire's flagship. If you guys are invading here, God, you're in, you're in for a load of trouble. <laughs> and they just laugh. Uh, meanwhile, the house captain Fair is going to try and escape. Ayla, can you make a strength check for me, please? Come on, where's my where's my nineteens and twenties? Where are they? <laughs> Twenty one this time. Twenty one, yeah. He's, just like, <laughs> he's like kicking his feet, like trying to make as much noise oh, as possible, like okay. shooting eye, eye daggers towards the other two. Um, sentry. Hmm. <laughs> um, Wait, has there been another round? Did I have a turn? Yeah. Wait, did oh, I spend my entire turn talking to these nerds? Yeah. Well, you did talk to them. Oh, yeah. no, I was going to do sending to the um, to Zellian. Oh, okay, well, we'll do that now. <laughs> yeah, you can do sending. Okay. It's yeah. just because you didn't Sorry, bring it up immediately. Confused. I thought you wanted to talk to them and find out about Valor. I assume that's what you wanted to spend your turn doing. So um, I think I got mixed up when when I started talking to them. I, for some reason, I just didn't think it was well, my also turn. Also, Moonstar, <laughs> Moonstar was still on the platform. Actually, you wouldn't have been able to do it because Moonstar was still on the platform. So. Right. Okay. All right. Well, fair enough. Well, we'll have Sentry go, and then then you can do it. Okay. We'll say that you held your um, action. Sure. So we uh we uh taken taken these guys, you know, downtown. Where? You know what I mean? Like. What's that mean? What's that mean? What's she talking about? It's the Sentry's attempt why... to talk in a really threatening way. We taken these good. guys I'm... downtown. <laughs> One light flashes on and off. Makes <laughs> me Morse code. In Morse code, Sentry says, "Are we killing these guys?" <laughs> really quickly. I think it was more of a uh, blink, blink, nudge, nudge situation. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, Sentry, are you just gonna sit there, are you, or are you, is there anything you want to do? Are you just looking at the team? That... Yeah. You can messenger ring it. Yeah, I can messenger ring back saying, yes, let's get in position, ready to subdue them. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So I guess, yeah, Sentry will try and try her best to just get close to these guard people without, you know, get, okay. getting ready to make a... She's ready in action to uh You're currently large, so you're like half like yeah. you're not crouched because the room is big enough for large creatures, but it's not comfortable. Like your head's at an awkward angle and you're kind of like <laughs> next to him. Just pretend to like stretch, like, oh this is kind of let me just shuffle over here this way. It's a bit difficult. Sure. There we go. Just, <laughs> just like yeah. Holding her sword. For no reason. Okay. But yeah. Sure. They're indifferent. Are just... What do they care? Yeah. They don't care. Yeah. Apathy. Uh, Tom, <laughs> you want to send anything? Yes, now everyone's off. I'll, yeah, sending to Zellion. Uh, circle is clear. Come on down or up, wherever Tassadar is. Yep. Downtown. They're not coming. Not sending involved. that message. Uh, that's because it's just only now the end of my turn. They have to spend an action on their turn to reply, right? That's why. No, they ain't coming. <laughs> you certainly think that. Uh, Nova. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> um, Can I messenger ring and say, could we knock Everybody everyone out and then tele teleport them away somewhere? <laughs> That'll sort him. <laughs> um, a teleportation circle. Bye. Send them back to uh, if, you, if you know the runes where to send them, you certainly could. Yeah, like knock them out and then send them back to Horizon. Let Horizon deal with them. Your Horizon's problem now. Um, uh, and then can I connect with Tiangong and... Hmm. Uh, yeah. Can you speak to, ta uh, to Tassadar? 
As I mentioned, Nova Vija, not from here. I would need to be in Tessadar's local vicinity. Within speaking range between, say, mortal creatures. Um, I'm gonna... To put it in simpler terms, I will need to be in the same room as Tassadar. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I needed simpler terms. This is really stressful right Would now. Would it be simpler? Uh, you I'm are really welcome. stressed out. Uh, yeah, you're... Thank you. You're this welcome. is a dangerous yeah. situation. <laughs> this is a very dangerous situation, Tiangong. I really, and I appreciate that. It's really dangerous. <laughs> Can in I terms, an action? Let me talk face to face. <laughs> Can I hold an action to um, help knock out uh, one of the guards? The it, it, one of the indifferent knock out how? guards. Like club with Tiangong um, knockout, cast spell yeah. knockout, choke them to death knockout. What bonk? Oh, I'm so strong. Bonk with Tiangong bonk. You need to move over. So That's it means that you won't be by the console. You'll have to move over to them. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to stay by the console because I don't trust, like, I don't want someone to break away and then come to the console and hit the alarm button. So I'm going to hold my action that if anyone comes, anyone hostile comes towards the console, I will Tiangong bonk. Okay, sure. <coughs> Lucius. Uh, I am looking at Sentry. So I'm going to also hold my action ready to bonk the other one that Sentry isn't going to bonk. Uh, with the rear end of my captain's command. Okay, so you're getting ready for a dunk as well. Yeah. All right. With the uh, other guy. Sure. Okay. Uh, Quill. No reply. Uh, okay. Zillion didn't reply. Is everyone waiting for me to bonk? <laughs> uh, okay. Fine. Say the word and we got it, dude. Just, just say the word. Wait, are these guys going to attack us? I don't know. I feel like really indifferent about them. I don't think they'd attack <laughs> us, would they? It certainly I looks like they're about are. to attack us. Yeah, we're about to. Sorry, man. Um, all right, I'll do a, uh, <laughs> I'll do a shocking <laughs> grasp on one of them. Uh, so you just walk up and you're like... <laughs> 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 sure. Yeah. Um, sure. Cool. They wear metal armor, uh, so you have advantage. Uh, on the attack Neat. roll. They also uh, which are one are you totally going against? Different. A or B? Let's go A. Uh, tw oh my god, really? 12. Is not enough. Uh, you reach <laughs> out to try and <laughs> grab one. Uh, he kind of is like, wait a minute, what do you think you're doing? And he like throws himself to the side, like, because you thought you'd just be able to grab me. He's like, I'm oh, oh, come on. just like throws himself. Uh, so, ba -ba 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 -ba, the indifference ends an if attack. the target is attacked or witnesses any of its friends being harmed. So at this point, I will say that yes, the calm emotions will break. Uh, and they're both like, Hah! and they kind of pull, the, pull their weapons there. And those of you who prepared readied actions may now Wait take a minute. them. <laughs> Alrighty. Time So Sentry and Lucius, go. you both get yeah. a bonk. 26 to bonk. That's a bonk. That's a big bonk right there. Okay. You need to mute. So we'll say damage. Lucius is on B. Uh, Sentry is on A. Yes, I need you to roll down. Nineteen please. to bonk. Nineteen to bonk. <laughs> Can I D10 That's this one because I'm holding it with both hands? You handing it? Sure. Thank you. Mm. It's a versatile weapon. It is. Nice. That's ten. So how much bonks. damage? Would... Ten bonk. The one Sentry. How much damage for you? I will do. I'll just do a standard one d eight, two d eight. Well, you still get. You always get improved divine smite. Yeah, so you, you always yeah. get the two d eight, and then you get Her Majesty's rose, and you're enlarged. Eight. So that's nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then two d four. Bam, bam. <clears throat> go, 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 go. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? One, two. Roll. Thank you. <laughs> Where'd you go? Fourteen. Or two bonks. So you both like bring these weapons down, but it's not quite enough to like they take the blows, like obviously reeling, but it's not enough to fully knock them out. These guys seem pretty tough. You know, they are, you know, guards on the flagship. Uh so they both take these blows, but ugh, and they're just like, ah, oh, and they start pulling themselves free. The captain's been taken care of the lieutenant, let's we gotta free him. Uh, <laughs> this isn't a training exercise. Oh, no. Um it never feels like a quill, anything else. <laughs> Because that was Classic. on your turn, technically. Oh, that's true. Yeah, uh, I mean, no, that's that's that was an that's action. My entire lot, I think. Uh, okay, 
Rana That's EL will yeah, Rani L will move up and will make two melee attacks. Uh, she will do this non-lethally, so if she hits, she'll do non-lethal damage. Um, but she will do it on the two guards. Uh, she'll do one attack on each. Uh, first one. It's a natural one. Uh, <laughs> very much like Quill, she brings like a greatsword down, but she doesn't want to hit Lucius. So she has to like turn it at the last minute as like Lucius reaches into like bonk. And so she like pulls herself back and avoids hitting him. Uh, the second one, this is where you, my dice, my shitty dice rolls are not going to help you guys. The second one, she just manages to clip one of them. Um, when she does hit, uh, this will be on the one Sentry was holding. So A. Uh, oh, whoops, that's the wrong damage. Uh, so I'll just do another d6 to add to that. Uh, so that's going to be 13 plus 48 radiant damage uh, for a total of 30 points of damage. So as she brings her sword uh, down, this, it fills with this glowing radiant light and poof, and you see the guard like reels, nearly knocked out cold by that attack, but still just about standing. Um, we must hurry, We must do this quickly. We cannot allow anyone to hear them, their cries if they cry out. Um, Ayla. Hello. I will rage, and then I'm going to hit this dude twice, please. Yep. You will have advantage, because, yeah, you've currently got him grappled. So Excellent. Actually, no, that's only on restraint. You don't have advantage. But, yeah, you can basically just... Uh, 17 plus 13 on the first one. That's a hit, and he can't parry it. And... Se Ooh, can't see that. 12 plus 13 on the second one. 25. Those both hit. Okay. So... I'm hitting with the hammer, by the way. Oh, the yeah. Maker. The bonk maker. Um, <laughs> uh, 15 damage on the first strike. Um, 13 damage on the second strike. And uh, deck save, please. Saving through. Ah. That's a natural 20. If I use physical dice, I roll high. Uh, so yeah, the lightning bolt, he does manage to kind of avoid from, but the two strikes are still heavy. 13 haft then. So of lightning damage. Uh, yeah. So the, the lieutenant definitely seems to be quite an adept fighter. He takes both blows uh, surprisingly well. Um, and now that you've kind of released him, his hands are like flying to his weapons and he's about ready to call out um, as he does so. Uh, okay, anything else, Ayla? I will just shout to get him. I don't know. Okay. Get him. Uh, seeing this guy is about to shout and that the other two are a bit more covered, Moonstar, uh, she brings up her forearm and you've, she's got like this like wrist-mounted crossbow um, and she fires what appears to be like a disc at the Drow Captain. That is going to be Ultimate frisbee. a... 15, which would normally miss. So I'm going to use her Elven Accuracy. Uh, she just manages to hit. Um, so you just see this disc hits his face and it expands into this thick resin. It just kind of goes over his mouth and he's like, oh, and it stops from speaking. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. So she's like, I've only got a few more of those. I was trying to save them for this kind of situation. Uh, and then she will just move off to the side and she can make two weapon attacks. So she will fire a bolt, a star bolt at one of the ones that, the one that Lucius is holding, in fact. Uh, that's a two, that's gonna be a miss. So the this bolt goes wide. Uh, then the two kind of guards uh, are gonna try and, oh man, uh, they're pretty fanatical. Da, 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 da. Uh, they one of them is going to try and uh turn around and hit lucius the other one no in fact uh the one that lucius is holding is going to make a break for the console towards nova um kind of like and th they do call out they're like help help and then they're going to rush towards the console so lucius you get an attack of opportunity uh and rana l gets a attack of opportunity the one next to sentry is just going to try and um fight sentry because he doesn't think he can get away from the big huge guardian uh, 15 hit. So Lucius total. 15 does just barely hit them, in fact, actually. Ding dong. Ran at EL. Will miss, unfortunately. That's four points of slashing damage. So you managed to get a kind of cut in as he rushes towards a one. the console. Uh, and Ran at EL also rolled really bad. She, she missed on her attack as well. 
Uh, meanwhile, the one fighting Sentry is going to make two attacks with their short sword. Uh, 20 to hit Sentry. Yep. Yeah, I figured. Both attacks just, like, tries to, like, dig it into your armor and it just bounces off, like, ah, ah, and kind of, like, tries to fight past you, but you're too big and imposing for him to really get the strikes, and it just deflects off your armor. The other one uh, rushes yeah. towards you, Nova, and is going to try and shove you out of the way, basically. Um, you get your attack okay. opportunity because you held an action. I get my, I get my bonk. Uh, I but that's right. Would have 20 have normally hit you, Sentry? Was that Helios? Helios. I'm a 21. Oh, so nice. So, like, the golden cape kind of, like, catches the first blow or whatever. Nice. That's cool. Cool. Uh, uh, what was it, Nova? 12 plus 6 is 18, right? Uh, 18 hits? Yeah. That's a math. I did a math. Um, oh, I rolled an 8 plus 7 is 15 points of Tiangong Damagio. Nice. The blow's heavy. It kind of catches him in the chest, almost winding him. It's... <coughs> Uh, but he's still going to try and shove you to the side. I need you to make either a strength or a dex check. I'm going to make a dex check. Okay, so this is just uh, adding dex, seven, basically. Uh, 17 plus 3, 20. So he tries to, like, shove you out of the way, but you manage to kind of hop back and then hold him in place. Um, and you're, he's currently trying to, like, scramble with you to try and uh, reach the console, but you're kind of holding him at bay. But he's, like, reaching towards it and you're just managing to like keep him keep him off it for now um uh now that the drow uh that the lieutenant has been freed uh he is going to try and make a break for it in fact he will use a bonus action and he will command the one that is fighting nova to make an attack against nova he's like kill her you fool we need to re raise the alarm um so that one is going to make an attack against you nova the one that just charged towards you Hup. Uh, that is going to be a 22 to hit. Just, yep, hits. Hits. Uh, so that's going to be da, 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 seven points of piercing damage and nine points of force damage. So 16 damage total. Um, kind of like jabs it into you, trying to catch you in the side. Uh, then the drow is going to make uh, three attacks against Ayla. Uh, first one is a only a 15 to hit Ayla. Nope. Second one is a 21 to hit Ayla. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's going to be... One, da, da, da. That is going to be 10 points of slashing damage, half to five because you're raging, and then some poison damage. As the blade cuts, you feel like a venomous poison. That's going to be 10 points of poison damage. So... Car. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, he pulls out uh, his weapon is like this curved sword that he's been slashing and then in his off hand he has like an energy whip and he kind of cracks that and he's going to try and hit you with that as well uh, but that misses that's only an 11 and then for his movement he makes a run for the door Ayla you get an opportunity attack okay that is a 15 plus 13 so I assume that that hits that will hit <laughs> yep <laughs> Tries uh, to, like, parry ooh, it, and then the nine. force of the hammer just, like, oh, God. <laughs> 20 points of damage. I rolled real high. 20 points. A heavy Whoa. blow. Uh, the captain is still standing. You can see that, like, they definitely start limping after that attack, um, but they manage to kind of begin pulling themselves away. All of their movement will take them to the door, and that's it. They end their movement at the door, but they're next to it, ready to open it uh, and call out. Sentry. You have one of these guys, uh, these smaller guys in front of you, and then you've just seen this guy run past you. Can I disengage from the guy with me and intercept the captain at the door? Uh, if you disengage, that's an action, so you wouldn't be able to make any mm -hmm. attacks. But you could just risk an opportunity attack. You could just move away from this guy next to you and just let him have an yeah. opportunity attack, if you like. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. All right, I'll do that. That's uh, Oh, that actually might hit. That's a 22. That does hit. That does hit. So that's going to be ba -ba -bam, nine points of piercing damage plus seven points of force damage. So 16 damage total. 16 damage. So it kind of okay. strikes at you and she's to catch you as you're kind of turning away as you rush towards the lieutenant. Yeah. Um, this is going to be the last thing. This is going to be the last thing we do today because uh, then we're going to finish up. 
Do I have any bonus actions? Uh, you still have your action. You still have your normal action. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, I, can't. I panic. I panic. Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> um, can I can I like try and rugby tackle him? Like try and just yeah, that'd be a like, grapple. Get him on the floor. Yeah. 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 You've got yeah, the size of a building. Uh, so you make a strength check. Uh, you'll have advantage because you're enlarged. So make a, a just a straight up strength check um, and add a d4 to it. Okie dokie. Oh, no, that's the wrong guy. Just roll for that guy. This could be slightly uh, higher. Plus 13 for the first one. 15 for the second one. And then d4. And then Add a d4. Four. Let's go, go, go! Please be. If you good. don't roll, 18. if you roll a one, it's a tie. Okay, so you do just because of your enlarged size, you manage to basically grab him, t grapple him, and drag him down to the ground, holding him in place, preventing him from getting out the door. Um, uh, you still have one attack. So that only takes one of your attacks in a round, so you can still make an attack against him if you like. Okay. She kind of got like yeah. one arm wrapped around him, and then you're like stabbing him with the Her Majesty's Rose. Yeah, I'll give him a just give him a, a bomb. attack. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, that is twenty-five. That will hit. Nice, nice, nice. Two D eight. Here we go. Bam, bam, bam. Plus two D four. Bam. Nine. What? <laughs> Nine damage with all of those dice. What? Two d8s and two d4. Nine damage. <laughs> what the hell? Is that with your normal bonus as well? Like your normal yeah. damage bonus? Oh, plus wow. five. So that's fourteen. Oh, yeah. Fourteen. I was going to say yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's a glancing blow. He manages to kind of pull himself to the side, and it kind of like cuts through. Um, but yeah, he just kind of goes through and does manage to scrape him. But that, my friends, is where we're going to finish uh, this episode with because it is five two. We got to go because we got to end on yogs. Um, yeah, it's going well, well, I mean, let's be flawless it's assault great. so far. It's, it's going spicy. so well. Yep, flawless, flawless. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So we'll be really quick because I know the other guys have got to get live on Yogs as well. So if you're over on Yogs, thank you very much for joining us. We're going to stay live on High Rollers just to read out some donations, messages. Yes. So if you want to come and read those, head on over to High Rollers D and D, Twitch.tv forward slash High Rollers D and D. Uh, thank you for joining us, Yogis. It's Parsec Pals up next. Um, so Penguin yogis. and Boba, uh, Yogis. Yeah. What? No, it's yep. just, you know. Uh, so go yeah. say hi to those guys if you want to continue watching those guys. Big love to uh, Boba and Ped. Um, and yeah, and we're going to continue on High Rolls D&D. So thank you, Yogscast. That's it from us. Bye, Yogs. Bye. Bye, Yogs. Yogs. Like, Bye, Yogs. Bye, Yogs. Done it. Hi, Rollers. Oh, hi. hi, Rollers. Welcome to the after party. Woo. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Where shit gets <laughs> nasty. <laughs> We're about Woo. to get nasty. And <laughs> remakes that noise for an hour straight. You ready? No. no. It was so <laughs> I can't even remember what the noise was. Like it reverberated ah! around my brain. It was. <laughs> it was like um, my uh, my mecha dragon. Oh, I, I, that's animated. still the best noise. They animated. Did anybody yeah. see the animation? So good. Oh, there's an animation. Yeah. That was funny. Yeah. Yeah. yeah an it was like super super mecha epic. Dragon. And then oh. Mark makes his noise. <laughs> it's like yeah. I want to see that. Is uh, it on our Reddit or something? High rollers. It's in the, I'll see if uh, I can find it. HR Discord. I, think. I linked it in our um, Discord. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. Um, the Discord channel. So good. Well, I think this is going great. I think this is going mm -hmm. wonderfully. In the chat. Those two guards, mm -hmm. calm emotions, just indifferent to us, and our friends not turning up, and they're now at the door, which is locked. To be fair, um, mm -hmm. and locked, they're about yeah. to raise the alarm. And uh, that guard is gonna be you're there. assuming that this guy though. doesn't have a way of getting past it. The guy's no. silenced, though, isn't he? Why would he? Like Moonstar. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he did have the. He does have the mucus, so. but I think he can. That doesn't look like it's that hard to get off. It just kind of, you know, he'll have to spend time pulling it off, kind of thing. But also, like a guy running out of a room with a bunch of stuff over yeah. his face, going mm, suspicious. Point, point, right? point. <laughs> Yeah. And then we'll be behind him, like, oh, there's so many bees in here. Oh. He's been stung by bees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll just get the old We're Nick trying Cage to get them trouble. off of him. <laughs> oh, the bees. Oh, 
out my eyes. <laughs> Not the prayers. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, uh, anyway, anyway. Uh, I will read some donations. Um, we had a donation from Jali, thirty-five dollar dues, and they say, "Hey, high rollers, just a quick dono as thanks for helping me to get through some tough times." Also, in before the team gets TPK'd on the Tassadar, and the campaign ends there. Not going to happen. We're doing great so far. Uh, well, that Norwegian fine. guy. Be fine. That Norwegian guy with a quarter hundo week four out of six okay. of telling the high rollers well deserved compliments. Aww. Katie, the amount of personality you put into your characters is so damn good. The pushing force and tenacity of Ayla has been amazing to watch from the start. Both you and Ayla are delights. There you go. Ah, thank you. Ah. Them on the initiatives for next uh, week. Nightjar no. Nightjar has donated. Uh, double Nightjar, apparently. Uh, walks into the stream two episodes late with Starbucks. Sees Hesper dead on the floor. Fuck's sake. I leave you alone for two <laughs> weeks and you kill a god? At least you adopted some adorable new NPCs for me. Missed all of you silly nerds. Missed you too, Nightjar. Hope you had a good break. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, sorry about sorry about that. Sorry about sorry it. Dad. <laughs> Spoilers. Sorry about Daddy Hess. Um, cool kitten ninety seven has donated with thought I'd donate after you quote tweeted me earlier today. Loving the new T shirt. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, it looks great. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just need to do a big old refresh to find where we at. Uh, Firestar nineteen eighty has donated with. Second time watching live. Love you. No, that's not what they said. They said they love the story you are all telling. <laughs> love you, Tom. <laughs> Definitely uh, to <laughs> love the story you are all telling. Clear skies in Connecticut. Also, love you. Uh, thank you, Firestar. So <laughs> it's the Mecha Dragon again. He's back. Uh, <laughs> Yay! Do you have any soundboard now, Tom? I'm so glad he's back. I should. I should, yeah. Cannot replicate it. So, cannot do so it. Loud. It cannot be done. I, I couldn't uh, even do it. I don't even know the noise I made. So anyway, um, sorry for putting words in your mouth, Firestar. Uh, love you, though. Uh, the Herve has donated with... <laughs> Hi, Rollers. Zarkira, all-powerful sorceress, bends the fabric of the universe to her will to ast assault the storm chaser with devastating meteors. Ayla's interpretation, she threw rocks at our ship. She's a bitch. <laughs> Never change, Ayla. Have a warm plate on They me. were yeah. big. I, I didn't big, say they were be rocks. very big rocks, but she did throw rocks at our ship, and that is a correct sentence. You're welcome. Wait, <laughs> that is. is that my TIE fighter noise that you got? <laughs> No, that or is, is that the, the noise, noise I made? No, that's, that's, the noise. Noise. that's the one. That's the dragon. Whoa! There you go, that's it. You're doing it. <laughs> I just realized it's just my TIE fighter noise. Whoa! Somebody, somebody, somebody make a video of him making that noise over TIE fighters, please. I want to see it. <laughs> that's oh, different pitches. No. Oh, God. <laughs> please. Uh, AJ Hayes. I'll make it. If no one does it, I'll do it. <laughs> Wow! Hayes, I believe. <laughs> or Torman. Uh, Varys has donated with no message. Thank you very much. Cheesy White123 has donated wow! a double hundo, BT dubs. A double hundo. Wow. Thank you so oh, much. Double you. Hundo. Thank you very much. Um, Thank you. Found, found you guys a good while ago. And currently, as this is being donated, have you all muted because I don't want any spoilers. Fair enough. Uh, you guys have <laughs> helped me through some tough times. And thank you. Uh, to all of you. Well, uh, when you catch up, you'll see this message, uh, in which case, thank you very much. Very generous donation. You. You're the best. Thank you Love so you. much. <laughs> Grindmaster DJ <laughs> has donated uh, with, technically, this is my first donation, but I have a question. Would you rather money be donated like this or gifted as subs? You would be getting it anyway as thanks. Uh, but I'm spending time with my uh, mum, so VODs today, have fun. Um, uh, Either or, I guess. Subs means that everybody However gets emote. Uh, and that's cool. Um, if everyone gets yeah, emote, I think I, I, that's subs amazing. Are good. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. 
Where's... Up to you. It is up Where's to you. Where's easiest uh, for you? Where? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, uh, thank you, Grandmaster <laughs> DJ. Uh, love you. Also, there's another donation from Grandmaster DJ that says, Also, I had a dream about Tom and Ree. Oh, God. Uh, we were a band playing in Madison Square. Okay, that's good. And then Mark oh, and Trot sick. came flying in on a red dragon, <laughs> murdered the crowd, and shouted at us to roll initiative as they came back as undead in service of Kim and Katie. <laughs> what did the oh, dragon we? we're, we're calling the shots, so that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, where where are Kim and Katie in this? I want a b slice of this action, but turns out we we got it. Yeah. <laughs> Army of Undead. Yes. Did we? Did we sound what good? What noise we... would the red dragon yeah. have made, though? Yeah. Yeah, that, one. <laughs> that, one. that one. That one. That one. Yeah. That uh, one. Anyway, Grandmaster DJ, love you. Uh, Draft day forty one. Yeah. That poor lieutenant. He was one day away from retirement, and he just gets an uncomfortable <laughs> hug of death. Guardsmen A and B getting bonked by external security consultants conducting a totally legit penetration test. Very lewd. Mm. Clear skies to you all. Thank you, Daft Day Forty One. Love you. Bale has donated with. Can't believe we're all calling Prince Aradan Gusthaven boy now. Truly terrible. I know, Fail. I know. Not all of us, yeah. Fail. Um, please, not all of us. Just one of us. Some just of us, us remember his name. <laughs> yeah. Gusthaven uh, boy. Anyway. Gusthaven boy. Uh, anyway. Boy. Infiltration. Rescue mission. Cool things. Don't call those guards. It's what they deserve. Exciting moments ahead. Uh, definitely looking forward to next week. Good luck. Thank you very much, Fail. Love you. Uh, we also had some. <laughs> um, uh, gifted subs, which was during Zadia, we uh, recall gifted a hundo uh, subs. Um, so thank you for that. Oh, we couldn't see you. those at the time. And Sun Tiger also gifted some subs during Zadia. Uh, there was also some thank bit donos from Zadia as well. Liga Artist and Twelve Sided Guy. Thank you very much. But for this stream, being Wolfie gifted some subs. Daft, uh, no, not that guy. D Miller, eighteen forty one, fifty gifted subs. Thank you very much. Talisman Nirak. Uh, Xcone and Grandmaster DJ, love you all. Um, and there was also some bit donos from Dragon Tamer 16, Trumpole, and Kremit. Uh, there were some Yog donos, Olorenve with no message, thank you very much. Severka uh, has donated with Hello High Rollers, thank you so much for being a great source of entertainment through being dumped by my uh, significant other of seven years back in August. Oh, and now, I'm recently, uh, though being stuck inside with COVID for weeks, um, keep being awesome. Soon I'll have caught up with oh the bots. Well, we look Send forward to hugs. seeing you live, Sevierka. Um, yeah. yeah. Sorry to hear that. Uh, and thank you very much for the donations. Keep on, uh, keep Ace of on. Thorns. Um, oh, love you. Ace of Thorns has donated with, I can't stretch to super donos, but here's a contribution towards dessert or something. Hugs. Oh. Well, Ace, thank you very I think much. you've Ace donated Thorns. like every stream we've ever done, yeah. though. So probably yeah. over yeah. time. Yeah. It is a super yeah, donor. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It really is. Also um, love you. And also love you. Uh, and finally, 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 Hobbs the Tiger has donated with Let's Go Get Vala. <laughs> murder the star. <laughs> Wait, murder the star, busty do. Become new space lords. Play poker with Hadar. Profit. Buy a hot tub made of tweed. Ye go sneak into the now penniless Hadar. Win. Great game as usual. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why so I read it. it. Like that. That's, that's, that's the whole plan. plan. Yeah. I really don't know why you read it like that. Hot it's, about it tweed. Sounds like, yeah, it sounds like that's how it was meant to be read. read. But anyway, Hobbs the Tiger, thank you very much. Love you. Thank you. Uh, and everyone else, I didn't say love you to. Love you. I got a lot, to, lot of love to share. A lot of love. Love you. <laughs> love you. Love you. <laughs> Where's my I love you, Tom? <laughs> Where's my I love you? Oh, Mark. Oh, Mark. I love you. I love you so much. Hey, mommy, you mean Milky. the world to me. You're the... I hate you. <laughs> I hate you so much. You are nothing. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Mommy Milky. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's too, it zoom's too slow. We can't do it. It's just the timing's off every time. <laughs> oh, uh, so good. That's it. That's it. Oh, Such a good time. Oh, and also, also, apparently, there's a new command yeah. as well. Uh, exclamation mark! I uh, says, "I really hate when you keep telling Quill to use his eye." 
Uh, so there you go. Yes. That's good to see. There you go. Is there an exclamation yeah. mark yeah. coin yeah. emote? There, there has been an there exclamation is. mark coin for a long time. Yeah, that's been, and it says uh, you get a whacking yeah. if you ask about it. It's right, great. That's a bonk. That's a whacking. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, a bonk. Oh, leave it. It's a whacking. Full bonks. Full uh, bonks all around. Ayla's, that Ayla has like a copyrighted a bonk variant. The a and Ayla, yeah. Ayla's yeah. a bonk. It'll mm. whack. Yeah, exactly. It is copyrighted. Everyone else if bonk. You, yeah. If you use the word whack, cool bonks. Uh, we're going to come after you. We're going to bonk you. Yeah. <laughs> Or whack be a thousand dollars. Anyway, <laughs> if you if we catch you whacking, <laughs> no, okay, end this. We'll come bonking. No. No. We'll no, no. Can we end the stream, please? I think I think we need a lawyer. Someone, stream. someone, get us a lawyer. <laughs> Wait, we're see us and then we'll come for you. <laughs> and then it goes too far. Yeah. Some sort of terrifying beast is signaling the end of the stream. What? What? <laughs> 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 Some weird hyena creature is signaling the end of the stream. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Love Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.